That seems to be going around. <laughs> okay, so let me get you guys set up in your rooms. And then we're gonna get started here with some I had to grab a I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just inhaled it. I feel like I'm at work. When you work in retail, that's it. I had peanut, peanut, butter, and peanut butter and jelly. That sounds bad for your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> we had to go and eat and, and everything and you uh go. I, I, I like the go. comment on your TikTok. Did you see the comment on your TikTok where uh, mine or you, Richard? Richard, your your opinion about UFOs is going to like you know uh, it's going to last like uh, you know like milk, basically. Yes. It's like <laughs> how ironic is that? For 50, 60 years they've been saying it, and it's like it's it's way spoiled. I'm sorry. The whole well, thing. any my, day now. Yeah, my um, reply, my my whole thing about this current. The thing is, I haven't been interviewed by the press yet. It might happen. Is will be along the lines of, please interview me in a year, then in two, then in three, and tell me all about the aliens and how their ships work. Can you put the link in in the uh, chat so that people can see? Uh, Somebody for, for which one? The TikTok the one you just did that I put on my Facebook page is really. I thought it was great. Oh, the tick TikTok. It's a sin. Uh, where you're walking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can find that quickly for you. It's still chilly over there, Cindy. I didn't realize it was chilly. Um, it's still chill, cool, yeah. It's starting to warm up a little bit, but it's still winter time. <laughs> we were watching some of the soccer. They all look very cold. Yeah, it gets That's cold in Sydney. Wonderful. What was wonderful? Being cold. Being cold. <laughs> Yes. yes, someone else said that to me today, actually. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, the, this heat is for the birds, especially with that electric bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> electric bill? Yeah, air conditioning <laughs> costs money. Uh -oh. I have never lived in a house with air conditioning ever oh, in my, me, oh, me, neither. Wow. my God. me neither. Me neither. Can't do that here, not in the Midwest. Wow. We're in the oh. We're in the fog zone in fact it's been we've had well, a lot of fog this year i don't even know um, anybody who has in, indoor uh air conditioning here you don't know me. Offices in, Oregon do, in uh september fires are gone i have two ac units one far downstairs and one far upstairs i don't know anybody who, here who has lives in a house without a whole air whole house air conditioning uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> don't know anybody yeah Ooh, so God. one time anybody here <clears throat> So fit, I was a concierge at a hotel for 15 years and occasionally it would get like into the eighties around here. And <laughs> someone would say, we would like reservations somewhere for dinner that has air conditioning. I said, Oh, okay. I have to check on that because it'd been so long that the one or two I had on my Rolodex card that had AC, you couldn't even, you don't even know if they still had it. And we just open a window and we have breeze and yeah. we have AC. We don't have bugs. You know, there's so you guys no are going to be in big, 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 big trouble because it's just going to get warmer and warmer and warmer every year. And everyone, all of a sudden, we're all going to be trouble because then everyone's going to be getting air conditioning, which is drive all. We're all going to move here because it's going to be I impossible to live anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was talking to Wiseman. This was <clears throat> last year, just about this time of year. And he said, Oh my God, it's 110 here. I said, Oh, well, you know, I hope you get good air conditioning. He goes, Nobody has air conditioning here. It's 110 in what? my house. Yeah. Where no, nobody in Scotland has air conditioning. What's wrong with you? Of course not. Where was it, Cobb? Scotland, Edinburgh. Yeah, he's in Scotland, but like you know, it's gonna yeah. stay this way. For they the, like you know, it cold. They love it. Get cold. worse. They don't so, even have yeah. heat in their houses. What are you talking about? Yeah, but like we keep we keep our house at seventy four, and like I have chocolate downstairs <laughs> that is permanently like soft. It won't, so I've had to move it in the refrigerator. But it was the, it was like <laughs> Do you guys know the temperature of your house. You I mean, like the change. yeah. I keep it. I keep it. At, I keep it at seventy four, and we keep our ceiling fans running nonstop in the bedroom and downstairs in the living room when we're there because it helps to cool. Because I don't want a three hundred dollar electric bill, which we will mm -hmm. get. To keep the house. We don't even seven. have ceiling fans. Yeah, my we my most recent electric in bill. All the major rooms. You need. Mm. I can't sleep with one without one. I have to have the ceiling fan on when I sleep to be yeah. able to keep the air circulated. Well, it's like we, have, we, have, we have fans we get set and point at you, but they're like, mm -hmm. like and, and then you'll get the phenomenon of your doors expanding and contracting as the humidity changes outside. Oh, that <laughs> oh, that's why my door got stuck when you were here in May. Our, our, our house does that. 
You guys are weird. You guys live weird places. We live in the South. <laughs> oh. Weird. So, yeah, yeah, no coast. house here has air conditioning. No house here has heating. Oh, yeah. It's, I bet. Same thing here. No. Heating, exactly. No have. car has heating. The cars we have heating, sold but not. Here. Uh. Okay. okay. Not nearly as long as dogs. Not, not nearly as long as dogs. Dogs have been a lot longer. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Chickens, they didn't have to domesticate them. They could just keep them around. Yeah, yeah. They probably were. Yeah. Well, that's the same with dogs. Wolves would come and hang around, and the, the friendlier ones, they would, you know, they would keep the friendliest puppies and otherwise known as domesticating them. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, everybody. Bob okay. and I have been hanging out, talking about eggs, and, and we talking about you guys all. I hope yeah. you all are just yeah. chatting about you. Your ears are burning. How Bob, did, Bob and I were Bob just like... not go to a team, though? Bob's not going to stay. He's just... he's just, oh, just hang, He came by to say hello to everybody. And Hi, Bob. Yeah. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. I'm sorry. He's trying to get some Hi, good sleep now. Okay. My, so just, my like, chickens are living their best life again. Oh, Hi, Bob. Bob. oh, I'm sorry. I said your name backwards. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you were quick on the fly with those palindromes. Oh, the palindrome guy. All right. So let's see what you guys got for me. This should be. Well, I'll get in my race car and leave. Oh, our, uh, our team name is really interesting. Oh. Oh, Would you say, Bob? I'll stay to hear the team names. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got. There's nothing happening in the news. Nope. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. I can't nothing. imagine you guys had anything to work with to come up with anything. I mean, that's- It was like, hard. Like, no, nope. I, I certainly couldn't come up with like five different team names. No, couldn't. couldn't have. I'm going to fix Paul and Lynn's names. I want to have them. Everybody can have the ones that we didn't use for a price. <laughs> okay. and and there's the soccer there's the soccer going on and the, each team has a name no that's right. you guys are just complicating things okay so uh, let's start off with uh carl's team it's ben carolyn deborah gail and carl great you want to say it carl since yeah. you came up with it uh x is what you click on to close something I put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I also seriously considered others, including did anyone try turning Mitch McConnell off and turning him back on again? Oh, <laughs> oh I like that. Oh, reboot, reboot Mitch McConnell. There's a bunch of people from. Uh, um, I follow uh, Tony Ortega's. Um, uh, he has a thing that's on politics, but he follows all the fringe groups and he does a blog every morning about what's going on in the QAnon world and everything. And they, there, there's oh. a whole bunch of QAnon people who are saying that he's a he's robotics and <laughs> ran out of energy. And I mean, I think they seriously believe this is true. So anyway, I wouldn't yeah. be shocked. And, and by the way, do credit our, the, our team name basically comes from a comment Klaus Larson made on Facebook. Oh, some of you know who Klaus Larson is. Oh, of course, yeah. 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 Klaus. yeah. Hopefully he comes back. So I, I have a question about, about that change. Is, is there any truth to the rumor that because you know that the birds are not real people picketed Twitter because they're they're promoting a bird which are not real with their, <laughs> is this are they responsible for Musk changing his mind? Does he now believe birds are not real? <laughs> I wouldn't know, I would not be shocked. <laughs> yeah, right. I would not be I, nothing would shock me. Okay, so next team, Faith Romero, Jane. Uh, Janine, Karen, Vincent, I guess it's Jane in Oregon because. Well, what happened here? Oh. What's going on? Oh, okay. Screen oh, sharing. We have to screen sharing something with us. We screen have sharing. a screen share for our name. <laughs> <laughs> the name is in Morse code. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Am I supposed to repeat that? Susan, yes. yeah, you're going to have to say it just like you're that. You're going to have to say it in more. <laughs> <time. laughs> <laughs> I'd say. Okay. Uh, let me look at that. He put it in the chat, at least. <laughs> it is. 
What, what's with the slashes in Morse code? There's no slashes. That's, that's where the word ends. I think that's where the letter ends. So it's what's two the, letters. We don't do that in Morse code. Yeah. yeah. It's short, 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 it's long, more short, than short, two short. O S U S A N. Susan. Oh, hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Oh. I figured that out. Thank you. Thank you. I figured it out. Go ahead, Susan. Someday. But you have to say it in Morse code. You can't call yourself hi, Susan. You have to say it in Morse code. Okay. Got it. Cindy, Jamie, Kyle, Paula, <laughs> Peggy. This is Kyle's team. Barbie never gets pregnant, can always comes in another box. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you might have just demonetized oh, this. Wow. One. <laughs> My Mitch McConnell suggestion is no longer in the worst taste. Who <laughs> 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 came up with that? Uh, I did. Amy. Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie came up with it. Well, I'm surprised we liked it because it was so tacky, but we loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of a Herb Kane story. Where All right. <laughs> what? At, at, at a Toys R Us, somebody asked if uh, Barbie came with Ken. And <laughs> the response was no, she comes, she fakes it with Ken, she comes with G.I. Joe. <laughs> okay, oh, team just, number five. Just hit, is, just hit, yeah, I just hit return. How about number fast. four? Yeah, okay. Bill, <laughs> Kevin, Leonard, and Saunders. Waiting on Smith. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, I thought uh, something was going to happen today. It's so long. Uh, uh, team five, how about if I add uh, one more word to the end? How about that? Go ahead. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Yeah. Okay, so I want the worst Alan, one. Of, I want Bob, the worst one. Of mono, mono, and, and, All right. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh jeez! Uh, it's just a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing Barbie's box. <laughs> <laughs> no Oppenheimer um, responses today. I'm surprised. I thought that would be somebody would yeah. have picked something. Oh, yeah. We like talked that. about it. Uh, I heard that movie was just a bomb. To. <laughs> uh, well, that's sometimes that's good when something. I heard bomb, it was not good. a fizzle. It was not a fizzle. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got tonight. This is our game 171. I am shocked. I was almost 10 minutes late opening the game today. Caspian was here. I thought I had time. I said, Cas, how much time do you have before it's six o'clock? I got to make a sandwich. He goes, It's six o eight or whatever. I'm like, Oh my gosh, there's no way. We've never been late. They're going to think we, we canceled or something. There's just no way. And then it dawned on me, it's like 171 games. That's crazy. Cray cray. So we've got five teams that are vying for the trophy tonight, the K trophy, which was <laughs> K and J, J K. I can't even remember my al alphabets anymore. We have five teams. So number one, we have team number one is X is what you click on to close something. Team number two is beep, 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 Team number three is Barbie never gets pregnant, can't always comes in another box. Team number four is waiting on Smith. Team number five is just a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing Barbie's box. He'll just fun race off of it. <laughs> oh I can't believe uh, you guys are doing good. That was this is much more creative, much more creative. You guys, good job. It's <clears throat> the kind of stuff I like. Okay, so uh, we're starting off with Carl, then it's K Karen, then it's Kyle, then it's Kevin, and then it's Cobb. So, okay, okay, so we've got <laughs> we couldn't have three K's in a row, we had four K's. No. We're here, only here on social trivia. Do you get five carries? <laughs> Kyle, you, Carl, you're oh god, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> you got your you've got your powers. Go for it. You're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Go, go, go. Okay. Hey, let's go. The 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 name of my category is Xerox TV Double Double Toil and Trouble. Let's do that TV edition part two. Okay. And, and just a, a, a note, I don't think it'll be any confusion, but 
if I say something was on the air in a certain year or on the air in a certain range of years, that's ne not necessarily the only years it was on the air, but it was definitely on the air in the listed years. So here we go. Number one. TV series on the air in 2022 about a DC comic space second tier or worse superhero crime fighting team. Executive producer James Gunn married one of the stars of this show. Number two. TV series on the air in 2022 about a DC comic space second tier or worse superhero crime fighting team. Ian Glenn appears in 11 episodes of this show as Bruce Wayne. Number three, TV series on the air in 2022 about a DC comic space second tier or worse superhero crime fighting team, Timothy Dalton plays a mad scientist in this show. Number four, fantasy TV series on the air in 2021 set in a world where magic is real and a group of magic wielders works to protect the lands from the threat of an evil power. This group of magic wielders may or may not be the central characters of the show. Rosamund Pike stars in this show. Number five. Fantasy TV series set on the air in, tw on the air in 2021, set in a world where magic is real and a group of magic wielders works to protect the lands from the threat of an evil power. This group of magic wielders may or may not be the central characters of the show. Henry Cavill stars in this show. Number six. TV series on the air in 2009, where a police department gets aid from outside the department in the form of a non-professional sleuth to assist them in their criminal investigations. This show's main character was not a fake psychic, and the female lead was Stana Kattik. Number seven, TV series on the air in 2009, where a police department gets aid from outside the department in the form of a non-professional sleuth to assist them in their investigations. This, this show's main character was a fake psychic, and the female lead was Rama Tooney. Number eight. Can I get clarification on the fake? Because like all psychics are fake. So what, what is, does it mean they were fake in the show? Or what does that mean? Good one, Tom. In, in, in the show universe, they are a fake psychic. Okay. Good for clearing that up. Thank you. Good point, Cobb. Number eight, TV series on the air in 2009, where a police department gets aid from outside the department in the form of a non-consent, non-professional sleuth to assist them in their criminal investigations. This show's main character was a fake psychic. And this show aired on the USA Network, and it's and it premiered. Its premiere predated the other two shows by more than two years, two or more years. All right, the next two are long. Uh, hopefully, everybody's chat is working because there was an update to Zoom again this week. Here's the first one for nine. Science fiction TV series on the air 1993 to 98, set on a space station at a key crossroads in space that plays a central role in fighting back an alien existential threat to the galaxy. Jeffrey Combs, Major Barrett, Tracy Scoggins, Bill Moomy, Michael Ansara, Patricia Tolman, Walter Koenig, Tony Dow, Robert Foxworth, Adrian Barbeau, and Bertie Casey all appeared in one or more episodes. DC Fontana wrote at least one episode, and Michael Vijar directed at least seven episodes. Eventually, they added a kick-ass spaceship for the heroes to use, went away from the station. Also, a lead actress departed the show after the penultimate season. What sets this one apart is that Harlan Ellison was credited as a conceptual consultant for all the episodes after the first one, wrote two episodes, and appeared in one. You've and number somebody two. for the first time that I've actually know the name of, Harlan Ellison. That's the first name you've mentioned I, I know. And number 10. <laughs> 
<laughs> Science fiction TV series on the air 1993 to 1998, set on a space station at a key crossroads in space that plays a central role in fighting back an alien existential threat to the galaxy. <laughs> Jeffrey Combs, Major Barrett, Tracy Scoggins, Bill Moomy, Michael and Sarah, Patricia Tolman, Walter Kinney, Tony Dow, Robert Parkworth, Adrian Barbeau, and Bernie Casey all appeared in one or more episodes. And D. C. Fontana wrote at least one episode. Michael Vijar directed at least seven episodes. Eventually, they added a kick-ass spaceship for the heroes to use when away from the station. Also, a lead actress departed the show after the penultimate season. What sets this show apart is that fewer than seven of the main regular characters, regular er actor or actresses in the show, have died since it's completed its original run. We sell these shows. What you just gave is like the synopsis that sells the show. <sighs> how, do, how do networks... I don't get it. And that. Did you mean no fewer than seven or fewer than seven? Fewer than seven of the main re regular actors or actresses have died. Which which could mean zero. Which Anywhere also could from mean zero that to six would, would, would be a number that, that conforms also that. could be true of the other one, though. It doesn't set that apart. It might. Unless the they other one had seven or more deaths. have died in the other show. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Here we go. That will be no help. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Kevin, you need to go into... Four. Four. I'm going to say between uh, you and, and Carolyn, we probably do know some of them. I don't know any of them. I'm, I don't I know. I'm gonna play one. solitaire on the other. Okay, screen. so Let hopefully what you know is one of the ones I couldn't remember the name of. I've seen the show, and I'm like, it's a great show, but I couldn't remember the name of it. Uh, number one is Peacemaker. Okay. Uh, number two is Titans. Okay. Number three is Doom Patrol. <laughs> um, number four, I like the show, but I can't remember the name of it. The one that's got Rosamund Pike. Anyone I see that one? Is, so. Uh, is it Wheel of Time? Never even I could heard be, of these. I could be. Okay, I got on number that. five. I'm so five is the Witcher. Oh. Yep. Uh, six is Castle, and then seven and eight. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Carl loved the show, and and he talked to me about it a bunch, but I never watched it myself, so therefore the title of the show is not in my head but yeah the one number eight is he was a psychic and you know was a psychic but then he ended up what it what was really going on with him was he's just very good at um he's you like know, reading people and yeah he's a mentalist and uh powers of deduction and, and all that in fact, I think one of these two shows, the actual title is The Mentalist, but I can't remember what the other one is. Yeah, so, I wrote down Mentalist, but I didn't know which one which was which. Uh, Would you both say... you've never watched that? Mark and I have never watched The Mentalist, and people are always asking, I've had you watched it? When did there you... was one, who is the... Do we uh, know which one has Robin Tooney in it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really good with actor names. Otherwise, I say we put the mentalist for seven and eight, and then if we brainstorm and come up with the answer to the other show. Um, there was one with, he was a guy from um, the West Wing. He was the president's, like, one of his secretaries and stuff. He was a, a young black man. Is is that one of those shows? Yes. He was the partner to the guy that right. was the psychic. And it was a, this one was a comedy. Right. It was like very much a comedy. I mean, it, it had, you know, wasn't like people it, dying and stuff in it too. I just can't remember the title. Yeah. I, I think that one is seven or eight. Sorry. Okay. If you come up with the name, let me know. And then I can, I think if I hear I the right title, psychic is in the, I, I in think the, I remember that. And I'm going to ask Glenn. Okay, you do that room. in in the. I meantime... remember seeing it, but I don't remember. Okay, we'll confirm nine and ten because nine and ten are very similar. Oh my gosh! But... I actually got another one. Babylon um, five. Ten, ten is Babylon five because of the comment about Babylon five has had many actors in that show pass away. Hence okay. why he had that. 
And again, this isn't one of those where it says this one didn't have that happen because sometimes he does the opposite to try and throw us off. But I think he just didn't want to give a specific number. That's why he said fewer than seven. But I know that some people were set off by that because that yeah. could be applicable to both. But he only mentioned suspects. it because because that one had numerous uh, people in the show pass away. And then the other one, of course, the space station is Deep Space Nine because the kick-ass show, uh, ship that they got there is the Defiant. Um, whereas in the other one, it was the White Star. Um, and then, you know, all these other people. Robert Foxworth, that's kind of funny because he actually was in um, Babylon 5 and then Star Trek wanted him uh, for Deep Space Nine. And he played like a general in both. And then they killed off the, the writer of Babylon 5. The creator killed off his character because he was pissed that he jumped ship to go star on Deep Space Nine. Walter Koenig, you know, hello. <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. He was in um, the original Star Trek, but he was, uh, he, I love the evil uh, evil psychic that he played, the psychop that he played in Babylon 5. I okay. Didn't watch one of those, so. Yeah. so let's see. Uh, yeah, Walter Koenig was great in, in Babylon 5. It was so weird seeing him in such a different role than, than him playing um, Chekhov. Lynn says that the program title was Psych. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yes. So I think Where, that so was the one? one that was on USA. Yes, it was the one on USA. Okay. So again, this is the only one I'm kind of iffy on because I love the show and I just can't remember if that's the right title or not. So if I am incorrect on that, I apologize. Um, but I think we're pretty good on all it, the rest of them. Could it be The Magicians or is that too early? uh yeah that i think that's different what do you have i read i read some wheel of time but i didn't know they'd made a show out of it yeah i don't know that one ben what oh mark asked who was talking and i said it's ben what do you have for nine and ten there I did like the magicians, by the way. Not that it would be an answer. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because the first season, the main protagonist, you know, you're you're really sympathetic to him. And by the last one, it was like I was so tired of his whining that the really bad snotty people in the first season or were it the roles reversed. I really look forward to them and when he died off, I was like, oh, well, didn't even miss him. It's like, okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, that was... <clears throat> but it Whining was... Whining is bad. Yeah, he was just... I, I didn't care for him. It was a really guilty pleasure because it was... They were such awful people. <laughs> they made me <laughs> laugh. They really made me laugh. Susan, I know you don't like science fiction with uh, time travel. But I want to tell you one that you should not not try before you dislike it, okay? Her name was Cage Baker, K-A-G-E Baker. And she did a series that she never finished because she died before the series was finished. But it is fantastic. Is and I all? have a feeling since I've liked all the things you've recommended, you might agree with mine. Um, what, she, what she did, it was... A, it was a form of time travel. It all happens in Northern California. I did it in one of the, the um, uh, one of the times when I was doing a question about it. Uh -huh. um, she talked about what happens in this thing is in the year in the future, 2022, uh, what happens is a company is created that knows how to go back in time, but it's very difficult and expensive. And what they do, and the Technology is there to help make people basically immortal, not basically, to make them immortal by making them partially cyborgs. Hmm. But history will not allow itself to be changed. 
So what they do is go back in time, and the different books go back at different points in time, but she you go back in time and they find somebody who will not live and will not have an influence on what's happening. And they take that person and they take them to a secret place where they teach them and they do surgery on them to make them into this half human. They look human, but they have all this mechanical stuff, right? Uh huh. And then they put them back in their own time and place. In other words, they didn't die after all, but they know that they, they weren't going to have an influence. And they have a job. And in the first book, it's called The Garden of Iden, I-D-E-N. What they do is they take this baby who's about to be killed by the Spanish Inquisition, and they, they rescue the baby and take her to this place, and they raise her in this special place, and they make her into a cyborg, and they train her as a botanist. And then they put her back in her own time, and her job is to find plants and seeds that become extinct by 2022 and take them and bring them to the special place where they push them into the future so that this company. And what's very interesting is you see the whole world. They kind of give you that foundation in the beginning. I've just told you like the first chapter of the first book. But what happens is this character only knows the future based on need to know. So all through this series of books, you start with her back in her time, and then you go to California. She's obviously California. California appears a lot. She goes to California. She goes to California when the Spanish are about to come and take this Indian tribe away. And her job is to prepare them to be rescued. And they take this whole tribe into the future to save their culture, right? And you only know the future, the 2022 future, based on what they're told. So oh. this company becomes, as you read the books, you become more and more about the company. But one of the things, the funniest thing I have ever read, I mean, I was sitting in a public place laughing out loud as I was reading this book, uh, is they go, they're in, this is in the California series, and they're in California, and this is a, this is the third book, so it's modern time. It goes from you know Spanish Inquisition to modern time, and then it starts to go into the future, and then it goes way back in time. But there are all these people; they look like people. Nobody knows that they exist, right? Because they are people, but they have these special powers that that come, including that they can't die. So, in one of the stories. It's a story. She does short stories as well as books. One of the short stories is just before uh, the, the uh, San Francisco earthquake. And all of them gather there because, of course, they're told the earthquake's going to happen. And they all gather there. And as everybody else is running away from the earthquake, they're running to the valuable things that get destroyed in the earthquake and rescuing them to send them to the future so that they have them in 2022. It's very interesting stories. They're very creative and very, very clever. And there's nothing supernatural about it. It sounds like it's, it's, it sounds like the time travel is not used as an excuse. It's used as the goodbye. What, what I don't like about time travel is it becomes a, like, the writing isn't good because they're like, oh, we'll just fix it with time travel or we'll, we'll oh. just. It's not clever. It's it's um. These are very clever. Yeah, this sounds good. So it's called Garden of I D E N. Yes, that's the first book in the series. Okay, I'll, I'll I I might uh, on your recommendation, I will put it move it up on my list of things to read because I haven't read it in a long Baker. time. But her name is Cage Baker. K A G E is her first name, and her last name is Baker. And because she wrote a lot of short stories too. Okay, I'm writing it down. Thank you, Gail. And the series never did finish, but I, they, I understand that her family has got her notes and they might finish it. Okay. It's clever is the word. That's why I'm surprised I that nobody else, uh, Ben and Carl, haven't read it. One okay. thing, well, it did, they were fairly obscure okay. because she didn't live long enough and the books didn't get popular enough. Her fans are big deal fans, but they're mostly unknown. As you saw, when I put the question about her, no one had heard of her. 
And that's really too bad because she should have been heard of a lot, in my opinion. They're, one of the things that happens is they don't get drunk on alcohol. They get drunk on chocolate. Oh, wow. you did. I remember you mentioning this. Oh, I've heard of this. One of the funniest <laughs> things in all of literature. Those pages had me laughing out loud. They go to to Ghirardelli's. <laughs> then they're drinking hot chocolate. And they're getting drunk. And the people in the store can't that work there can't figure out what the Robin, about time you ended that uh, that uh, forest thing. I know. Well, I had I had such a good time this year at that thing because our show was so good. If you if you're into musicals and you ever get a chance to see a show called Ride the Cyclone, it's fantastic. It was really good, you guys. I went to see it on yeah. Robin's recommendation. It was terrific. Yeah. Really good. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it before, but apparently it's a Canadian thing. So Vincent might have heard. Yeah, of it. it's a Canadian show. Which which one? Ride the cyclone. Ride the cyclone? No. Yeah. I've Ride the moose. Ride the moose was the. Ride the moose. Is it about a roller coaster? Yes, it's about a it's about a bunch <laughs> of teenagers who die in a roller coaster accident in Uranium City, Saskatchewan. <laughs> and um, in real life, there are no roller coasters in Uranium City, Saskatchewan. It has a population of five hundred and is not accessible by a road. But it's a very funny show. It's, it's very well done. And the people who mm -hmm. were there um, doing the play at uh, Robin's Forest in the theater, it's a forest in this area in Carmel that the theater. And so you're sitting outside watching the play right in front of you at night. It's really nice. The on, on a relatively warm it. night, that theater is wonderful. Oh, on a it cold, was... foggy night, no thank you. No, no, it's it was, still it's good. Great. Bundle up. You, and bring bundle yeah, up. you bundle up. You could bring your own wine and make hot beer. toddies. Take a note. Yeah, it's, it's blankets or whatever. Yeah, it's really fun to go to the forest. Worst in the theater in Carmel. In Carmel. All right. Thanks. So Thanks. you ready? All right. Ready. My team was done in seconds. <laughs> Here we go. The answers. Number one. Peacemaker. Nope. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Nope. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's a uh, that character was it's a spinoff from the the uh, one Suicide Squad movie, the most recent one. Right. Okay. Number two, Titans. Huh? Never, never heard, heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> number oh. three, Doom Patrol. Never, uh -huh. heard, of never, heard, of never heard of it. Number four, The Wheel of Time. Hey. Never heard of it. Yeah. Five, that one. The Witcher. Never yeah. heard of that one. I heard of that. that one. Number six, Castle. Yeah. I remember that either. Oh, I remember that. Eleven, really? The Mentalist. Yeah. Number eight, Psych. Woohoo! Oh, oh so Tragedy close. Never and number nine. Thank you, Gail. Babylon oh. Five. Yeah. Oh, I think no. we have switched. Oh. Everyone. Carl, your wording has sucks. Passed. Thank Every you very much. Every has passed away. Wow. I know it's very sad. You'll notice it's my background, <laughs> and that was just coincidence for today. Wow. <laughs> and then number ten, therefore, is Deep Space Nine, Yay. and only yeah. only that person. Oh, Odo. Only Odo. Yeah. <laughs> now you might argue that Nog counts as a second, but Seeing as how I could not find a single cast picture that included everyone and the actor who played Nog, mm -hmm. they Nog was not a main character. Yeah. Technically, that number sentence eight. works for both. So. Well, it works number for eight, one, would you accept, accept one. Yeah. For number eight, would you accept the psychic? No. A psychic. The is, that's that's not the name letters. of the show. It's named it, Psychic. It's a, a play on words. Psych. I said the like psychic. The person is, the I didn't like it. I went psychic, and they're faking the person out. So it's psych. It's a double meaning. Yeah, I said ick because I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> it was definitely icky. It was All really right. close. So it was really scores. Um, let's go with it's a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing um, Barbie's box. Um, we six. got uh, amazingly six. We thought we'd get like yep. two in the beginning. But... Okay. Waiting on Smith. Six. Barbie never gets pregnant. Ken always comes in another box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
beep, 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 beep. We got four. I have. So say the name. Four. Yeah. Four. Right. X is what you click on to close something. Yeah. Unfortunately, we got eight because I had the last two switched because I had my count uh, wrong on yeah, how many ben. people died. Yeah. Darn you, ben. Carl! You and your can't count your people. Harlan Elephant was questions. the clue. Harlan yeah. Elephant was the giveaway. Good job. All right. Good P. Eight. eight, four, seven, six, six. So we got a little split starting up there. So we'll see what uh, Karen has to do. I have a feeling that Karen's got something completely different. And, and as, as always, the questions and answers are in documents in the chat if you want them. Thank okay. you, Carl. Okie dokie. Very efficient. Uh, let's see. Let me close this. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Okay. Am I still here? Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Here we go. So the category is the world's most and least powerful passports. Oh dear. Oh. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? I'll tell you. I'll I'll tell you. Um do 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 do. Come on, cut. And paste because people like to see it. As it's being said. Yes. Okay. We don't want to piss off Janine. Face. Okay. And I'll assume Karen doesn't <laughs> the answers want are from statista.com, the 721-23 travel article by Anna Fleck. She based it on information from the 2023 Henley Passport Index. The HPI draws its data from the largest, most accurate travel info based database, the International Air Transport Authority. So the HPI ranks all of the world's passports according to the number of destinations their holders can access without a prior vi uh, vi uh, visa. So the idea is a nation, if you're a citizen of a, a passport holder of a certain nation, how many other nations can you visit without a visa? How welcome are you as a passport holder of a particular nation in other countries of the world? Does that make sense? Does it count if you use a MasterCard? <laughs> American Express. Okay. So uh, the questions themselves um, will give some hints as well. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But does that make sense, Cobb? Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay when, Monday? No, don't mute people. I, I like hearing people. I, I like your bad jokes and good jokes and every kind of jokes. Okay. Uh, number one. Number one, name the Asian country that ranks as having the number one most powerful passport in the world. Hint, one of its many official languages is Mandarin. And again, this what's the criteria? It is you're a passport holder from this nation and you can visit the most number of the highest number of nations in the world without being required to have a visa. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now number two. Number two. Okay, and I give you a hint there, so we start off a little easier. Okay, number two is here. How many nations are its citizens able to visit without a prior uh, visa? Plus or minus ten, and we are referring to the answer in number one. Okay, uh, number three. Number three is. Zoom. Number three is these three uh, European spelled incorrectly. These three European nations tie for second place with their citizens able to visit 190 countries. Name one of them. Name one of the three European nations that is tied for number two. Okay. I don't think there are 190 countries in the world. Uh, 195, I yeah. think, we've looked at. Okay, so uh, Robin, every time you say stuff like that, you're giving hints to other people. There you go, Robin. <laughs> you're in trouble okay. now, girl. That's Number why two. we like to mute people. Okay, you just, in the corner. And Deborah as well just gave... You live and die by the unmute. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but it's okay. That's At least the, everybody got an equal... Let the cards hand. fall where they may. Okay. The United States of America ranks 
in blank place. That's plus or minus three. Okay, on this index. Okay. All righty. So number five is, number five, to earn that ranking, the United States ranking, citizens of the USA must enter this number of countries, may enter this number of countries without major restrictions, plus or minus 10. Okay, um, number six. Can but Karen, I, I don't understand five. You have two blanks. Um, well, I I just meant to surround the words this number of. I'm looking for oh, it's not blanks. They're like you're you're highlighting this number of. That's what you're yeah. doing. These are dashes. So it's not so done parentheses better than better. So it's not done, it's no. not it's not done just the best bold. way, uh a mono. So it, it is, it should just read really without the, it, there's no need for those lines actually. To earn so you that just ranking, want the number of countries basically. Correct. To okay. earn that ranking, in citizens of the USA may enter this number of countries without okay. major restrictions. Thank you. It's, yeah, it's, it's unnecessary. So maybe this way will we'll look better. Monday? I oh. put it in the chat. Okay. So yeah. number six, what 25,000. 200 square mile republic in the northern hemisphere with a population of 2.86 million has the same degree of travel freedom as the USA such as they hold that is to say rather they hold the same ranking okay and please don't ask questions because you'll give hints to other people okay why is the sky blue no I'm kidding it's why can't I ask questions so then please please wait and ask questions of your uh, teammates. They will know it. Okay. They will they will figure these out. Okay. Um why am I not There we go. There you it disappeared. Okay. Now, for 8 through 10, 8, 9 and 10. Name any 3 and only 3 of What the happened to 7? 7. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, crap. Do I not have a seven? I do have a seven. Thank you. Whew. Okay, bueno, forget that. Okay, ignore the man behind the curtain. Thank you, Cobb. Okay, <laughs> so here's number seven. Here's number seven. The citizens of the four lowest ranking nations are only allowed to enter visa-free in this number of countries, respectively. A. Four, three, two, and one. B, 10, 9, 3, and zero. C, 33, 30, 29, and 27. Or D, 52, 43, 22, and six. The four lowest ranking have that number of limitations. Holy shit, those are the combinations for my luggage. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then, so everything is kind of in order. So then, number Number eight is eight, nine, and 10. Name any three, and only three, you must select three. Don't pick four, and you, you only have to pick three, of the four lowest ranking nations. Hint, all are in the Eastern Hemisphere and north mm -hmm. of the equator. And then their numbers would correlate to uh, number seven, but that's really not any hint unless you happen to know, happen to know the answer there. Do, does everyone understand? I have another yeah. question. Yes, Mono has a question. Uh, when you say Eastern Hemisphere, what's the dividing line? Is it the zero longitude? I am not going to answer that. Somebody will know. <laughs> yep. It, I, I would assume it's the common definition. I, uh, I'm not going to answer that, Mono. I will leave it up to your, um, your uh, team to okay. answer that. <laughs> All right. Okay, Karen. But thank Good you for job. asking. Okay. Can, can can I get Jamie on my team? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> All right, everybody, go play. Right. Go play, right, everybody. Okay. Bye bye. Something I know a little bit about because I actually read the article that. Oh, you did. Off. Yes. Okay. Because 
starting in 2024, the United States now has to file for a visa to enter the European Union. Really? Yes. And it's eight dollars. You just have to do it before you land off the wow, plane. Wow! Really? Mm -hmm. Wow! And you have you have to do it before you arrive. This is a new change, and it came out last week. And I read the article about it. Oh my it. gosh! I better tell Cass. <laughs> So Thank you, Vincent, for doing that because our uh, chat disappears now, which is so weird. You may have to update your um thing. Yeah. But don't I stop update, asking about update. it until after. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, no, you have to update Zoom probably, but Susan, don't tell Caspian about it until after the category. Why? <laughs> because you'll help him. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not here. All of these. Oh. Oh, he's, he's not, not here. here. Okay. So, number one is Singapore. Oh. And we guessed 196. Based upon if the other countries can visit 190, and like I think there's 205 countries or something, isn't there? No, I think they were saying 195. Deborah said 195. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Yeah. Well, it's plus or minus 10. So we're good. I think it's in the 190. I think we're in the 200s, but. The, well, Singapore. Okay. Well, yeah, you okay. would you would subtract one because they wouldn't visit themselves. Mm -hmm. And three, we guess Germany. Yeah, I was going to say Germany. Germany was a good one. Can you actually, guys? Can you guys actually hear me type on the keyboard? No, no. Oh, good. Okay. Well, so far, so good. My computer's not acting up. No, so it seems great. Great. Ever, whatever, like, whatever I did to the last two computers that I had, and I had two of them, and uh, this one is not doing it. So, also, your camera is really sharp, and your sound is really sharp, also. Yeah. Really? Oh, so yeah. before? So. Oh, well, no, it, it was fine before, but I'm just commenting that it looks good and sounds good. Oh, okay. so for number four, they said our passport strength actually was going to drop down to a rank of eight. So can we say five just to make sure we're covered? Okay. Yeah. That'll have us, or we could even just say six because that'll have us covered from um, three to eight. To nine. So six. Because I think I wasn't sure if we were seven before or not. I know we can't get into Australia or New Zealand without a visa. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Used to be able to. Yeah, but can't mm -hmm. now. I didn't get a visa when I went. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have what? to have one to get into New Zealand. What year was that, Janine? 2018. And what year did you go, Susan? I was in 2017 she went 17. and 2019. So we had half of both times. Can we put I one needed my passport, but I didn't no, need no, We had to have a visa, too. I didn't need a visa. Can we put 179 as our answer for number five? Because that'll give us the range from 189 to 169. Because it's plus or minus 10. Okay. Would that be like Greenland for number six or, or Iceland or something? Well, Iceland yeah. is not in thinking. the oh. northern hemisphere. I thought yes. you were saying. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what the population is. 25,000 square miles, northern hemisphere. Almost 3 million population. That sounds like Iceland. 
the population. Same travel freedom as the USA. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Could be. 25,000 square miles. I have no idea how, how big that is. Is that small? Yeah, I think the to drive, I think the ring road around Iceland is maybe three or 400 miles. Okay, never been, so I don't have a clue. Um, I would guess, skipping to eight to 10, I was going to guess that those would be like um, countries with really restrictive freedoms, like um, Arab countries. Oh, I was going to say like, uh, like Afghanistan. Oh, yeah. I would say Afghanistan. Iraq. What, what were you going to say? Af Af probably Afghanistan, North Korea, and Russia. Oh, I was thinking North Korea. Oh, yeah. North Korea this has to apply zero. for a visa to visit. Yeah, so it has to be. Like, there's a lot of countries that are okay with Russia. And, and yeah, A, and then probably. Like right now, since we've been in war, you think we are able to just enter the and that and, and I'm guessing North Korea has like zero. Yeah, so yeah, yeah they would have zero. Yeah. So I wonder if there are other countries that have into Russian. They're asking him if you're Russian. That's not what I'm saying. If you're Russian and you want to come to our country, you have to apply for a visa to stay. For the US, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, no, I I'm talking. I don't know that other that North Korea could be compared to any of these countries. No, I think really. North Korea, you might be able to get into China without a visa. Maybe. I wouldn't think you could leave at I all. I think you can get into China without a visa. You think you can leave North Korea to go to China? Only if you go to China, but yeah, I think that's. I think it. Well, that would make sense to, if it's a. But most other countries are going to require North Koreans, like theoretically, if you wanted to come visit to apply for a visa, they're not going to say that you can come without one because the risk of you overstaying. Yeah. Is high. I think. I think with. Thinking about uh like developed countries, but there's like countries in Africa that they're fine with uh, Russians coming up there. Do you yeah. know how many African countries you have to get a visa for as a U.S. citizen? Well, that's just a U.S. citizen. But, the, but, but it, our, the answer our... to number seven is A, because that's the only one that makes any sense. Okay. Because of uh, North Korea is probably the lowest and it's one and it must be China or maybe... I was going to say, like, and I'm sure if you were to go to China, you have to have I was gonna say permission visa. from more than just the visa. So or, you really think visa. that you really think you don't need a visa from North Korea to China, or no, to no, you can't just go to Russia. You have to have permission from the state to work. So I don't think they just get to go to China even with a visa. They yeah, yeah, they, I don't they, think they have that permission. You. China will accept you probably without North a Korea visa. won't let you out, though. Right. I would not yeah, think that. Yeah. I, I'm just one, thinking that you probably oh, can't see. even get a passport from North Korea. That, that's the way I thought of it, is if they don't just give you a passport, you can't. Yeah. I just wouldn't think you could leave. Well, well you yeah. have to have the government probably has to say. Well, can we put North Korea, in China. China, and Afghanistan down? I, I don't think it's China, and I don't think it's Russia. I was thinking things like Afghanistan and uh, Iraq. Iraq and Syria, maybe. Syria, yeah. Any three and only three of the. Then do you want to pick a different one? I don't think maybe it's maybe? Russia. Eastern Hemisphere. I probably C. And but... north of the. Ramirez says he wants to pick C. So where do you think you can go? What twenty-seven countries would let North Korea in? Yeah, I would say so yeah. You know, uh, Vietnam. I was uh, wondering if. If we should, I was wondering if North Korea even counts at all. It's a country. I know. Yeah. I'm looking back at her at her original statement to see if if a country like that is excluded, but it doesn't I don't seem remember like, any exclusion. It doesn't exclude like there's no definition of country. I just. I'm just not sure that they give them passports at all. about Vietnam. Well, just like because they don't they, give they a passport the doesn't state mean state that you would need a visa to that, visit. Yeah, so like maybe you guys, could visit. But I think that a lot of countries that are but, okay with North Koreans coming into the country. 
or um, I think they're okay with but they're going to require you to get a visa yeah like you're I this think whole it's either a or b like your experience getting a visa is much diff different than mine has been oh i just saw the zero one b you're right there's a zero one b i i don't think there's a, a zero a country with zero unless it's north korea and i don't think there's a country north korea with one. so that's why i'm going with c because i don't think there's a zero or a one well don't you think d would be a little bit better because there's a six like what country right. do you think would allow North Korea in besides six of them? I would guess twenty-seven. I would guess you know like Afghanistan maybe or um, but pa yeah. Pakistan or you know countries that that we think of as evil. I think can we go with? David? I think Afghanistan, North Korea, but I could go with. Uh, like I think, I think other than I rush, think, I think D is probably better for seven because, like North Korea probably has six. Yeah, countries North Korea is probably zero. Um, yeah, I, I didn't even know that. Iraq zero. probably has twenty-two, or Afghanistan has twenty-two countries that will let it in visa-free. Iraq <laughs> probably, Iraq probably will, and then. Like you could have another country like you put Syria down, but I would go with Syria. I, I was thinking of Syria also because countries with like a lot of terrorists. Um, I think the problem with C is is like what twenty seven countries will allow North Koreans to come in without? Harm it's got to be A or B, and I'm probably now that I'm looking at it, it's got to be B. I think I think A and B are too restrictive, like he's saying. I think you could go from realistic. where would North Korea allow you to get a visa? We're going from zero, one, six, or 27. It's and not what North Korea allows, it's what yeah. other countries would allow yeah. North Koreans to do. Yeah, I would say it's, that. it's coming in. It's like I, ha I had to get a visa to enter Ghana, and it was just to state how long I was going to be there. And they issued it for that so, amount of time. So you, I think you also have to think like, like why would countries allow North Koreans in? They're they're not thinking like oh they're going to uh, steal our technology or secrets like in the U.S. I think they're allowing them because they have money. They're going to spend on you know something. Is Afghanistan north of the equator? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh. Okay. And Afghan yes, Afghanistan's in the Asian continent. Hmm. So I would put here for eight to ten, maybe Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. Okay. Which one? Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. But not North Korea, huh? I don't know. I feel like you know, if you're North Korean, you the government is going to give you money to spend wherever you go, so they're going to let you come in. But how many countries are going to require you to register before you come in? But but you but you. Hi, I'm the United States. You allow North Koreans in your country free for all. We're not doing business with you. That's exactly why they're going to require visas is so they can keep the track of nationals that other countries may find suspicious. Because if you're allowing people from Syria, Afghanistan, North Korea, and all these people to enter your country without applying for a passport or without applying for a visa and going through those extra background steps, I mean, I your allies are going to get suspicious of, of what your motives are. You're letting the enemy come in unchecked. Yeah, but I think there's a lot of countries that that already are not friends with the U.S. that uh, like you're, like, can you think of six countries that are not friends, more than six countries that are not friends with the U.S.? I can I can as well. So, you know, like, if they're already not friends with the U.S., why would they be worried about, oh, the U.S. is, is going to be mad at us if we allow North Koreans in? I think that there, I think places like Syria, even if you want to look at, like, Belarus, 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 whatever, 
those types of places probably are going to be a little bit more restrictive against them because it's not just the U.S. being mad, it's their relations with China because of what China allows but if with China, North Korea but if and China, their relationship. But if China allows one... <sighs> What, if China well, what's our answer for seven? <laughs> I would go with C, but I don't know. I can revote it. I think I, C. I think personally, they were voted out. I think, what do you guys think? A or B? I think it's too restrictive. Who votes for A? No one. Who votes for B? Who votes for oh, B1 for B? Who votes for C? C. And who oh. votes for D? Okay. I'll vote for C. Oh, two for C. But, okay. No, three for C. Three for C. Okay, okay fine. We'll do C. C. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thank you, Karen, for picking an article where I picking a category where I actually read the article you're talking about because I knew about the visa changes for the EU and the US that were announced this week. We still Oh, oh no, no, we got it. Never mind. Is number eight to ten? That's putting the questions like that is right, right? That's uh, fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter what order they're in, as long as they're in one of those. Okay, blocks. so we we took out. So we put our rod. I put. I thought six was something else than Iceland. What do you think six could be besides Iceland? The Republic like, of like, Ireland. No, like Estonia or or Lithuania or something. Like that. Oh, that's interesting. If you take it away, then I won't have answered a question in 20 questions. <laughs> I didn't know anything okay. in the first round. We'll leave it then. <laughs> he feels pity for me. Thank you, Romero. You guys were great on um, on uh, Skeptic Zone. Did you hear it yet? Oh, thank you. We haven't it was so fun to hear yet. you guys talking. Look at yeah. them. Why do I have the calorie view? Good category, Karen. Interesting one. Yeah, very interesting. And but yeah. it, it was great because great category. I just read the article. Yeah, we we did this category uh, so many times, though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Back everybody, welcome back. But are you aware of the visa changes for American citizens? Welcome back, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Thank you for taking a tour of. Social trivia with Susan. We're happy to have you returning to home base. Please buckle your seatbelts. Keep your arms and legs inside at all times. Okay. And we'll resume. Okay. Is let me see. We're at 25 people. Is that uh yeah, we're all back. Everyone's back. I see. Okay, bueno. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, Got folks. My visa. So let's go back up here. Lulu lu, 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 lu. Okay. Number one, it seems like a lot of you knew this. Um it was covered on, on NPR, and uh, the article has been picked up by, um, you know, different articles on this has have been picked up by various periodicals. The answer is to number one is Singapore. It has wow. Singapore has four official languages: English, Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil. Tamil, uh, Tamil. I was trying to uh, trick you with Mandarin. Did mm -hmm. anybody fall for it? We almost no. did. Uh, we did, yeah, we we did it. not fall for the trick. No. Did not fall my for the trick. My team did not. I my did. My team did not fall for it. I did. Okay. Yeah. Claro. Yeah, the Isn't first word, alone? the first word, oh, it has to be China. So, uh, okay. no. I so, have very smart teammates. So um, uh, I forget what the, uh, uh, oh, yeah. And so how many nations can uh, people from uh Singapore travel to uh, visas free. That would be 192. So 182 to 202 Ooh. is a winning yes. answer. Yay. Okay. Yeah, right. That's countries and territories, you know, places. In the world. Okay. Good going, everyone. All right. Number three. Now, this was interesting. Oh, you know, I, you know, I didn't happen upon a visit to each place while they were answering number three, but I don't recall seeing i think maybe one person that i saw got this but we'll see the three are germany italy hey. and spain oh. uh, we got germany never would have thought it was germany we got germany in all three of those yeah okay very well. well done everybody okay what ranking is the united states again there are little hints if you 
looked at what, you know, what the other, what was given beforehand and what you learned elsewhere. We are in fact eighth. That is oh. a fifth through eleventh is for winning answers. That's grammatically incorrect. Fifth through eleventh are winning answers. That's My team is too pessimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give, it give it time. Give it time. I believe that'll change on August first. And, and and something that Jamie knew or Jamie pointed out, maybe others knew this. You know, it's not just um, safety factors. They some, some people are looking at mula también, right? They want to money. save money. <laughs> they want to get money for visas. So it's not merely are we leery of this nation? Ooh. It's like, can we get money out of them? Do we want to <laughs> encourage people to visit? Do we, you know what I mean? It's so tourism. There there are myriad. Uh, factors uh it's not merely safety and the relationship mm -hmm. okay number five i forget what the question was um the ranking of something how many countries does that how many countries Hi. how many countries would the u.s then have this visa-free relationship to achieve eighth place the answer is 184 so oh. 74 oh. to 194 <laughs> get you a win <clears throat> surprise it's that high okay so, nice work, team. Okay. So then again, trying to make it a little fun if you just don't flat out know the trivia answer to number six. If you know a little bit about geography, if you know a little bit about, you know, perhaps to figure this out, because there are only so many nations that are about that size with that population, right? Gives you some hints. And it wasn't, and the Eastern Hemisphere. Mono, uh, you know, I just looked at a common understanding. Mm -hmm. Literally, I just clicked on a couple of maps that said Eastern Hemisphere, and I just eyeballed them to see, ah, all of these nations are within that. So I really didn't know what the uh, latitude, uh, the longitude was. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was Lithuania. Oh, oh, nice. Well done. Well done, Carl. I'm <laughs> sorry. Very nice. I think, I, I think Iceland was a, a good guess. Uh, I don't know what others It's yet, too small. But Lithuania, it is. Mm. Okay. All right. So then, okay. Here was something very interesting. Uh, you know, I made up some things trying mm. to, to trick people because I'm a, a sneaky old broad. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. Just to be fun. <laughs> and. And uh, so people were going, oh, zero. One of them has to be zero because North Korea. Oh, no, one because North Korea. You will be maybe surprised to learn that the answer is C. Oh. 39, right. 30, 29, and 27. I'm shocked. I'm and I, I pulled up just to give you an idea that these countries do welcome North Korean passport holders with visas. Antigua uh, yeah. and Barbuda, uh, Azer Azerbaijan, Benin. Colombia, uh, Ethiopia, uh, Gabon, Georgia, uh, Kuwait, Lesotho, Moldova, uh, Oman, uh, mm. Qatar, uh, Singapore, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Um, so there's a and there's a lot more United Arab Emirates, and there are more. Oh. Wow. So whether These the whether are... the nation whether North Korea issues passports to all these people and allows them to apply yeah. for travel. I yeah, that, that, that's the better, thing. Better yeah, the yeah, nations no. will welcome them. If, if that you makes get a, you, we'll give you a visa, but we're, you're not going to get a plane ticket. Yeah. Sorry, so we're going to hold your, country. we're going to hold your family yeah. in North Korea yeah. hostage yeah. until you right. come back, but okay. you can go. Yeah. Hmm. Other so, people will let them in, but North Korea won't let them out. Yeah. We, yeah. we, we use some good logic. Good on job. That. So no, I found no, this to his you. guns. He 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 was. You're right. right who, who stuck to his guns? Romero. I wanted one or two, but Romero was like, "No." Mm. Okay. So what are these okay. nations, right? What what are what are these nations that are the forest lowest uh, four 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 lowest ranking? Well, uh, some of you will not be surprised by this. I there's one of these that, that I did not hear from people. Pakistan, thirty three. Oh. Syria, uh, Syria, 30, Iraq, 29, and the lowest, Afghanistan, with 27. So you needed just one of, you, you needed, right? You needed uh, blah, 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 8, 9, 10. Mm -hmm. so then well, gonna, Iran was not in it, but Iraq was? That is correct. So okay. I'm going to give you this, uh, if the answers link, uh, you know, if you just want to check out 
out the website. It's, it's got like a little link. Uh, it's got a little so visual, and then really it has a link to the actual um, website of the um, agency see that did this but anyway i hope you thought that was fun and interesting that Thank was you. very fun and interesting it was. we learned this a lot, again, I learned a lot. <laughs> my team is much smarter than me i learned a lot had, had a lot of reasoning in it that was very good i could not picture how small or how big mm. um twenty five thousand square feet might be so yeah. darn miles Miles. Yeah, yeah, Miles. I, I just could not picture that. I was like, is it going to be Iceland? I don't know. And Mono, uh, how did your team do uh, with the Eastern Hemisphere when you came to talking about that? That, that never became a problem. No, that was uh -huh. not a problem. I just went. That's not why we got our horrible but Mono? score. But that's yeah, right. we have a horrible, horrible score. With that. Mono, I can't hear you. Uh, we, we, hadn't, we didn't, it wasn't much of a debate. People just said, this is common ag agreement and i said okay let's go with that i mean I the world before the western hemisphere was thank found you. was what we call the eastern hemisphere and then there was the americas which is the western i don't know why there was a debate thank you and, uh, well, no Susan... it was an inquiry it wasn't a debate Mon mono had a question that i couldn't answer okay, i'm wondering have... what mono's up to some, thank you mono. Sources, okay susan to answer your question about how big twenty five thousand square miles is it's a question I get a lot because Sri, when people ask me how big Sri Lanka is, I tell them it's 25,000 square miles and they have no mm -hmm. idea how to envisage that. So I looked up and it's the same area as West Virginia. <laughs> Gosh, that's tiny. Yeah. In, in our in our <laughs> round, I said, how many football fields is that? Yeah, I, I couldn't <laughs> didn't know though. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Did anyone many, guess what, and, that Sri Lanka Sri Lanka's population then is so anyway it's i don't know if it was tricky oh, Sri Lanka's population is 20 million so yeah it's, yeah it's much denser so anyway thanks for thanks for that i hope you had fun yeah that was fun karen yeah, yeah was thank good. you karen different. okay let's very do our, let's do our nice scores job. very good so let's go over here to... <laughs> yeah friend i should probably share this one okay hey, the friend so we're gonna go with bbbb -B -B -B. Beep, beep, Cute little beep, kitty. Beep, 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 beep. We got nine. Beep, 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 beep. Nine. What? You guys did the thing and wow. told me I had to say it. So, oops, what happened there? You put it in the, I don't know. What happened? Well, beep, 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 beep. Thanks, weird. It's like really small. You did something. <laughs> yeah. It adds up to the right number. It's <clears> fine. Yeah, yeah, but he, but he get a little bitty. It's, it's a very okay. conservative. No, you got the pseudocode font on. It's a very, very shy nine. nine. Where they put the number in the box, but you're not really sure it's a nine yet. Oh, it's Sudoku nine. <laughs> Sudoku? Like when you yeah, do Sudoku. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing Barbie's box. So before I give you the score, I wanted to tell my team, because Mono's leaving right now after this. Uh, I said I'd come back and tell them. I, I, my team got decimated on one of the rounds last time. We got one point on Peggy's famous chefs, so wow. we got double yeah. that this time. We got two. Oh, I Yay. thought we got. I thought we had oh, three. We have a, here. We have a more consistent problem. Say again, Linda Paul. I thought we had three. Didn't we have Afghanistan? Or no. wasn't? No, we wrote no. North Korea, Miramar, and Yemen. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that. We had okay. Two. Waiting mm -hmm. on Smith. Seven. Wow, this is weird that it's doing that. Let me see, bold. Well, yeah. that'll that be a lot. size thing on there. You don't want to do that. The smaller point font. Yeah. That's fourteen. That's all. Bold. And make sure, yeah, make sure the font is also not changed. Oh, did this one change? I just Arial. Yeah, all right. Yeah. See, I can't learn if you don't let me learn. All right. Barbie never gets pregnant. Can't always come. To <laughs> we got five because we didn't listen to Paula enough. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that'll happen. Paula. <laughs> All right. So we got a tie. So, oh, a tie and a tie almost. Okay. Oh, no, no. X is what you click on to close something. Since we liked our score so much the first round, we decided to also get an eight this round. Okay. You Interesting. Are nice. a moment. 6.2, both rounds. Wow. Okay, so let's take a photo before we let uh, hear it for consistency. Oh, okay. Anybody else sure. is going to leave? Everybody, get yourself ready for your beautiful photo, your photograph. Okay. What is that right here? One, two, three. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Good we got job. it. We got okay. it. 
I'm so proud. We've got, got it. Oh, oh boy. We've got, got, got it. Good night, Vincent. Vincent. I'll be nice thinking Vincent. about Bye, you. Vincent. I'll be oh, thinking Vincent. about you, Vincent. Nice hair. Thank you, yeah. Vincent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we wish you best. Uh, thank you. It's uh, good that I have a working computer now. So. Yes. <laughs> At least that's one good thing that happened this week. So. Oh, July. Oh, okay. Okay. Susan, are you expecting anybody else to come in and join us at the bottom? Uh, at the bottom? Of the score? Um, I was thinking um, that we might hear from Caspian, but I guess if he's not here by now, and Adrian said no, so I guess not, unless Adrian comes in late. Hmm. Because right. uh, we, we got problems. Because I mean, Robin's already yawning, and she's on the West Coast. <laughs> give her, give her a, a nice. Uh, um... I always do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be all right. She'll stick it out. Otherwise, how many? Let me see. We'll see. All right, we're on a five-minute break. Four-minute break now. Um. Okay, where's Len when we need him? Name that lighthouse. <laughs> the main is in Minnesota, isn't it? No. Is the Arizona Lighthouse? No. Name the state and you get closer. Planet Earth. Maine. Closest so far is Leonard. Faith is a little bit closer. Connecticut. Closer. <laughs> Rhode Island. Island. No, Connecticut was closer. Oh, uh, New York. There you go. New York is correct. It's one, you actually. The other side is Connecticut. That's right off of the end of uh, Long Island. Um, With the the northern end, the eastern end of Long Island. The the northern um, northern point eastern or the end. Southern? Yes. Yeah. Orient Point. Orient, not uh, not Montauk. Mm -hmm. No, Orient. Yep. The northern eastern point of yeah the last place you drive until you take the ferry. That was taken from the ferry at sunset. Just lucky I happened to be there when the sun was going down. I was like, oh, that's a cool shot. There's birds flying by, too. It's pretty cool. What are these these birds? You mean the surveillance drones? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not real birds. <laughs> well, it depends. When did you take the picture? Um, Sunday night. Yeah, because all the birds went away in the 70s. <laughs> How hot is it in everyone's world today? High 80s for me. Like 85, 87, something like that. With the it heat was, index, it's over 100. It was just, just beautiful today. Here too. I mean, um, we, uh, was where we live is famous for cold in the summer. We had a storm, like, I don't know if they call it a burst, a microburst or something. So on the way home, which was after like 5.30, a tree was down on the road. So we couldn't get into right. our street. So we had to go all the way around, which is like three miles to get to the other side of the street. And a tree was down there. Right. So the police were on one end and the fire department were at the other end. Two trees blocked us off. I almost didn't make it for trivia. And the car, the policeman told me, finally told me, you can go down that road and zigzag and get around it. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that existed. So I found a road just like less than a mile from my house. I never knew it was there. Hmm. I thought they were all dead ends, but they, there was a little shape that went they around. They opened the, it up just for tree. you. That just been one the other side of the tree. You can see the tree from both sides. Huge tree. Fell right across the road. Wow. Oh. Two. It's so weird on each end of my road. Huh. 
Sounds our dangerous. High, our high temperature today was 69 in Salinas. <laughs> Which is not to yeah. say that we don't get the occasional heat wave. We do. Yeah, we were really, in the driveway. really lucky it was today. Hot it was it hot. Was, we must uh, have hit like 74 or something. Our, our low tonight is supposed to be 81. Huh. Too our low cool last you. night and probably tonight is, um, let's see, probably 5 a.m., 54. Right right now at 1020, it's 88 degrees and 64% humidity. God, that's, wow. Our high today was 88. Our low was 70. Currently 72. Who's in charge? Uh I've got 81 in Citrus Heights right now. It got up to just over 100 today. Hmm. 85. I don't, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know about for you, Carl, but in Collinsville, it's going to be 101 tomorrow. Yep, that's what it's supposed to be here. Holy shit. That, it's 85. Is that, is that centigrade or Fahrenheit? Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, in um, Pacific Grove, the temperature for most of this week is going to be 64 degrees is a high. Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay. How many thunderstorms are you guys? Aren't getting? you glad you're no longer in Texas, Cindy? Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. That's, well, you Richard, that's them. very nice temperature for um winter time. Yeah, it's a nice. It's warm today. It's it's sunny. Nice. I'm looking for my blanket now that you guys are. <laughs> how many thunderstorms? Ninety-two tomorrow. Do it's going to be a heat wave. Ninety-two tomorrow. Oh, wow. wow. All and right. Next week. We're we're getting down into the lower sixties. Next Saturday oh, predicted sixty degrees for the highest. You can't be Where are you? Near me. I'm in Pacific Grove, California. We're right on the coast. We're in central California. She's right up. Well, I know about, where I know where PG is. I just didn't realize you you were talking. She's from closer there. to the water than I am. So it's a little yeah, bit where she's I mean about a mile away. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Very good. We're we're doing really well. Let's let's put. Um, oh, we got to do our um, announcements. Announcements. What do we got? I didn't plan anything this time. That's amazing. So, Richard Saunders, I hear you have a podcast. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adrian's not here, so Richard can announce it. Coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, I look at the current UAP UFO flying saucer. They're here any day now. Flap, craze, fad in America. Following that, it's the Australian Skeptics newsletter read by Adrian Hill. The Trove segment this week looks at UFOs and flying saucers in Australian history. And we have another song by skeptical composer Nathan Eggins. All that and more coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. I just finished listening to the last one. You had Faith Romero, Andrash. Yep. Sorry, I'm eating milk dead. Of course, I would eat a milk dead right now. Oh, and there's a, um on the last one you were on, Susan, with your new promo. Yeah, my promo was on. And I guess this next week, or really soon coming up, I've got an interview with Janice and I and Adrian. So, yeah, that was great. Okay, Kyle, you have a podcast, I think, right? I do indeed. And the latest episode of Data Skeptic is called Prompt Refusal. It explores those cases when uh, chat GPT or other large language models will say, I'm sorry, Dave, I can't do that. Oh. And uh, <laughs> be unwilling to finish a sentence such as what are the ingredients to make a bomb or whatever. So the guests this week talk all about the circumstances under which that happens and their attempts to predict whether or not your prompt will be refused. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Very good. Very good. So this this uh, happened Kyle, to me. Carl. Other, this happened to me the other day. I was wanted to go to the pet store to buy some kitty litter, and the name of the pet store is P E T O H. Pet O. Pet O. Okay. So I was <laughs> driving, and I said to my phone, uh, "Hey Siri, direct me to Pet O." And it said, it wrote back, "I can't answer that." And it wrote P E D O. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna direct you to the FBI building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, pretty he's, much. In, he's in Sydney. That's okay. Um, Rob, you have anything? Um, it seems like you've done been. They've been rolling out your interviews in different waves, and I've been enjoying what I've heard. You did a really good job with 
McWest and um I'm amazed at how many views the McWest one got. People really like to hear about UFOs, even if it's from somebody who's debunking them and they're pissed at. Oh, because almost all the comments one of the on, world's on the video. Men. Yeah, all the comments on the video. You're going to have a... 1.5 thousand know. views for Mick West. I'm shocked. Yeah, and normally, normally, and that's, that's he, he's been out the least amount of time. And normally I'll get three, 400 maybe, you know, mm -hmm. in a month. So, yeah. So, yeah, I had three interviews rolled out this week uh, since last game. Uh, Eugenie Scott, uh, people here should that know who great. that is. Very good interview. Uh, I actually got to talk to her at the Bay Area Skeptics meeting yesterday. Uh, that was kind of cool. She popped in for about an hour. Here's the one about Mick West. If people want to hear his in. take on UFOs. Oh, that, yeah. I was putting the direct link. And then um, today, just today, the one about the great documentary that's going to be screened at PsyCon. I got to interview the uh, creative team behind it. That was rolled out today. And did uh, did Richard mention uh, the uh, mention of the Great Australian Psychic Prediction Project on POI? Mm, I, we talked about last week, maybe. Uh, it's the BJ sent me a promo I'm playing this week about that. Okay, so so uh, here's a link for the POI uh, podcast episode where Richard point and I of were inquiry. Interviewed. Yes, point to, it's CFI's podcast. Home girl. That's it. Thank you. Excellent. I have, a, I'm going to be doing a podcast on Saturday for a UK group. I can't, um, <clears throat> I got to remember to do that. Her Majesty Skeptics. Majesty, oh, Her Majesty Skeptics. <laughs> Somebody. His Majesty. Majesty. Skeptics, Skeptics in the Hub, I think they're called, they call themselves. It's like a, it's like a UK group that's just doing a lot of they don't have pubs virtual. in the UK right? something that started up during the pandemic and they well no I think they actually did it before I don't know it'll be fine we'll have fun I don't know what I'm talking about I told them they wanted to know if I wanted to do a trial and and practice using stream yard and stuff and I said I'll figure it out just I've done stream yard before and we'll talk about whatever you ask me questions about so I don't know what's happening on that and I don't have anything else I'm really just like working in the yard and and getting if today, anyone I, I, I did the last jerry andrus tape copied janine this took freaking forever and i copied it i've got to listen to everything but i oh my gosh yeah. it's something let me tell if you. anyone wants an excuse to come to <laughs> oregon um we have a big event coming up we'll be hosting susan because she's just coming along for the ride. I don't want to miss it. We have Kenny Binnick, uh, Biddle, and Eric Schaefer coming. And uh, Leonard, you sometimes come to Oregon. This would be a good time for you to come visit. Okay, when is it? It is, um, okay, in Portland. There's a talk in Portland on Friday, August 18th. And then we're going to go on the 19th to do kind of a ghost tour, walking tour of Portland. But on Sunday, April 20th, we're going to have a barbecue out at my house. April? And nobody, August, and nobody April, has August. Married. They start with the A's. <laughs> right. August. August 20th. We'll have a barbecue at our house, and Susan will be there, and John will be doing his famous barbecued pork. And, and before that, Seattle's having theirs too. And Seattle's doing some doing a talk too. Yep, but oh, look at Deborah's cutie cat. Yes. I'm yes. giving so you a, a workshop in Bend on the 29th of August. Well, I was August. thinking we should get uh, um, what's his face to come over from Ben. I've right. never heard him called a more endearing term. <laughs> and I can't think of what's his face. <laughs> Brian <laughs> Dunning. Get Brian to come over. Well, Richard, funny. you can come too. He won't be right now, I here. think it's really smoky over at Ben. Yeah, He's Brian told me it's very like... smoky there. Yeah. Hopefully it will be not be smoky here. Hopefully yeah, I want to go for swimming right lake when I'm there. Oh, okay, sounds great. So, so, so again, uh, if if anyone okay. is is interested, 
there. The Vintage Computer Festival West is this weekend, and I will be giving a talk on Saturday. Oh, okay. the computer uh, museum in Santa Clara. I assume that will be in person live only and not streamed. Um, it will be in person live, not streamed, but it will be recorded. Oh, good. So it eventually may show up online. It it should eventually show up on the on the on the tubes. Great. Carolyn, you had something? Yeah. Um, cool. I want to watch that. For those who didn't go to Skeptical um, 2022, all the videos are now up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for reminding me. I I'd forgotten that 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 announcement came out. This is pretty exciting because I need to go through this. I'm I'm glad you remind me because here's the please subscribe uh to the YouTube channel. I've got to leave that out so I will remember. Skepperty is hilarious. Yeah. Make sure you watch Skepperty. Um, I did a little host hosting of things. So this is gonna be fun, but yeah, completely forgot about that. I'm disappointed and, they're not having it this year. Yeah, I we, saw that. We asked and yep. we wanted to do it in person. And the people, the problem is all the volunteers they have are pretty much people who've been volunteering for years and years. We need a new batch of people. And Carolyn is new at it and I'm new at it, but but I'm I'm too busy to do something like that this year. So you know, it's, it's gotta be, we need a new crop of people to volunteer to help put on conferences and we wanted to do it live. So, you know, we're getting to the point where virtual is, we're done. We're ready to go virtual back. Virtual comes, but for many, many organizations, virtual is the new default. Yeah, yeah, it is. Sure. Absolutely. But I, we wanted to do this in person. It was way too much work and way too few volunteers. Nobody wanted to be in charge. So we said, we're going to give it a pass. So we got to grow. We got to grow our new new generation of um, leaders and organizers. So they're there somewhere. We got to find them. You guys ready to start back? Okay. All right. So Leonard is just only so-so, but we'll, we'll, we'll just, tr we'll try. We'll try it. We can do this. And I don't have any new uh, videos out except for the one that Adrian and I and Janice Boynton did, which was on floor... Oh God, that was so much fun doing that. I'll have to come up with something else for that Psychics Explained for my YouTube channel. I have just been busy doing, trying to finish the Jerry Andrews project is trying to, that's my goal. So now that yep. I'm almost done. People lined up for rounds next week? Yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. So we've got to get our rounds up. We've got Jamie who's volunteered. And at the moment, that's the only person I have who's volunteered. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a regular category. Rob says he'll be, and you'll be Rob at that time and not Cobb. We'll see how many K's are. Going Is to Leonard, are you time. waving your hand around? Frantic? No, I can't. I can't do it oh. next week. I've got a uh, um, cafe inquiry. Okay. And Faith is like pretending she's, I saw her hand up, but she's got it. She's pretending she's not even looking at me. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we've got a little more time. Maybe I, I, all right. Janine has free time now. Maybe Janine could do a round. Yeah. What was well, that, Carolyn? Carolyn? Still exhausted. I'll, I'll try yeah. and come up with one. <laughs> oh, Carolyn's going to do it. All do you right. need someone to do a round next week? Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just, remember. you just were with, you were like this with your hand. I up. was reading something. No, your hand was up. Don't you know that when no. I'm trying to find somebody, you put your hands down and you don't move. <laughs> you don't make eye contact with me. That's okay. We got a couple more rounds and Carl will write remind a note. me. I can do one. I was going to volunteer. Oh, okay. Faith. I just need a bonus now. <laughs> no pressure, anybody. Okay. So Kyle, you're up next. Yeah, yeah. Before we get in, uh, does anybody know what Viagra and Post-it notes have in common? Both, uh, yeah. I, I, I actually had a category on accidental. How did you know mentions. about that? Accidental oh, I was thinking <laughs> they were uh, both inappropriate gifts for a baptism, but I guess we could do accidental <laughs> inventions. And, uh, uh, yeah. All right, we may have some overlap, but there are many Viagra of these, as I found. I knew post-its were, but I didn't know about it. Yeah, post-it was actually one of my uh, questions, uh, and I don't remember if I I think, actually, I did do Viagra, yes. I well, neither will appear since Viagra? I gave it without. Uh, this one might have, for those with a good memory, in 1945, a melted candy bar led Percy Spencer to invent this device. The microwave. Is this question number one? M&M's. Hey, we're, he's asking questions, you guys. Oh, it's, 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 it's open. 
Oh. Oh, that's microwave then. <laughs> Why do we do this the This is the category. Stuff? I didn't realize it was starting. But there's no number one. On, there's no number one on it, Kyle. Oh, that's my problem. I didn't put it. Yeah, we thought that was an it. example. Oh, well, shit. Well, you get us. That's the fact. Yeah, so I, I, I also use. I also use that. It's silly putty. Silly. All right. Let's okay. Go. Quit We're... guessing. Quit guessing. It's a question. Someone should mute everyone. <laughs> I know. My goodness, you can't. Or we could oh, exercise self control. Trying to convince oh. Karen that muting is important. Clearly, <laughs> we can't have any self control, Karen. Sorry. All right. Well, in 1954, Swiss engineer George D. Mestral patented this idea after noticing how Burr stuck to his dog's fur. And then a bit earlier, oh, I got to put the numbers in so it's clear it's a question. Okay. Number three so, here. So Faith doesn't yell it out. <laughs> in 1938. Yeah, but she yelled at the wrong uh, answer, so that's funny. Roy Pluckett. <laughs> He failed to invent a new refrigerant, but accidentally <laughs> discovered this polymer. Then uh, winding the clock back even further, in 1879, Constantine Fallberg discovered an important property of this chemical when he forgot to wash it, forgot to wash his hands before dinner after working in the lab all day. Number five, in 1942, Harry Coover failed to create a clear plastic gun sights for World War II and instead created this substance. You're killing me, Kyle. Almost all of these are mine, and I don't remember the yeah. answers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they sounded a little familiar, but I don't yeah. remember the answer. Well, I don't know he, if I was he, there he's got week. them written slightly differently, but I, I know them. Man. And in 1958, Wilson Great Batch accidentally invented this medical device when he chose the wrong size of resistor for a circuit, causing it to give off an unexpected rhythmic mm. electrical pulse. Winding back the clock again to 1895, when Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen was experimenting with cathode rays and noticed a fluorescent glow of crystals on the table near his tube, discovering something unrelated to cathode, well, as far as he knew, unrelated to cathode ray tubes. Pronounced Rentgen. Thank you. Okay. Number eight, in 1886, pharmacist, jo pharmacist John Pemberton failed to create a cure for headaches, instead creating this. Then in 1920, 21, Frederick Banting and Charles Best failed to isolate an anti-pigment agent that could be used as a treatment for rickets when they came across something decidedly different. Last but not least, it was 1943 when James Wright failed to create an artificial rubber by combining uh, boric acid and silicon oil, instead inventing this product. And those are 10 accidental inventions, maybe accidentally overlapping with a previous category. At least at least six of them are, but I don't remember more than two of them. <laughs> if Rob can't answers. remember, none of us can, so yeah. it's like oh a my God. We could do one week after another, we probably get the same <laughs> questions. <laughs> it's not like our memories are getting better. Oh, that's for sure. It'll be like, it'll be like, uh, like fifth grade where we get retested on stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's not like our memories are getting any better. I don't remember. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> be much better if we were all 10, 11 years old. Yeah. Was this about fifth grade? Okay, here we go. Let's go. <laughs> when? <laughs> Did we do that? Did, what happened in fifth grade? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. My memory's not getting any better. <laughs> Let's no. um, go to our rooms. That was I to go. To go. How do I do it? I don't think I have powers. Yes, you do. I gave you powers. There we are. Did you do it? Carl's doing yeah. it. Carl, Carl. Yeah, Carl did it. Kyle has power the, the, over Carl. The other Fine. Kyle did it. He's supposed to learn how to do it. Let him. Hello, T. Okay. We should get we should get a lot of these. Yeah, you said number one is microwaves, microwave oven. No, is it? Yeah, because he was walking. This guy had a candy bar in his pocket, and he walked by 
one of the microwave systems developed during during the war. And his candy bar melted in his pocket. And so that's how he got the idea of using it for a microwave oven. Oh, I didn't know that. I remember that story now. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember the story. Yeah. And number two is Velcro. Yeah. Velcro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. Number three is Teflon. Teflon? Is that a, that's a polymer? Yeah. Teflon. Okay. Yep. It's a, a, chlor, chlor, a chlorofluorocarbon. It was a refrigerant. And mm -hmm. it was in a cylinder and the gas didn't come out. It was gaseous. Instead, a white powder came out and the white powder was Teflon. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay, let's see. Number four. Well, um, was kicked off. Heilberg. Yeah, have a, let's see. Which one did you already Ancient... get? We got one, two, and three. Well, Jamie got one, two, and three. <laughs> we worked really hard as a team and made Jamie and get listen them to Jamie give us one, two, and three. Was it was two Velcro and three Teflon? Yeah. 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 Okay. Number four. four. Um, let's see. He forgot to wash his hands before dinner after working in the lab. So what would that mean? Property of this chemical. It, would it be the way they tasted, the way they looked? Stuck to something? Did, Did they glow in the dark? Color? Were they poisonous and he killed himself? Well, it seems like it has to be something that interacted with food. Yeah, some kind of eating dinner interaction. So taste or color, salty, or interacted with the metal. Oh, I wonder, oh, I wonder if that could be um, MSG. Is that possible? I don't know when That's that was. Spice, like a. Well, MSG is a chemical. Which yeah, you know, it's, it's a food chemical. Taste. It's a preservative, isn't it? Come no, well, it's, it's, it's a, a taste enhancer. It's a taste enhancer, but I thought I thought it was 1879 by the Japanese. though. Yeah, I don't think it was invented that that long ago. Oh, yeah, no, it, it seems was, like that was. It was actually I thought it was earlier by the Japanese. I I just saw a special oh, yeah. on. Oh yeah. Know. Yeah, but I thought it was the Japanese. But this, but I don't know. The MSG kind of makes sense though. It does. I'm putting it in as a default. But if Paula has another opinion, I'm going to listen, listen, listen hard. Yes. Paula. That's what she said. Yeah. So I know, are you, were, you were still on number four? Number four. Jamie Get suggested that, MSG. Yeah. Oops. Is everybody else having a hard time hearing yeah. Paula because she's breaking up? Yeah, she's breaking yeah. up. Paul, you may have to put it in the chat if you have a suggestion. Oh, now she's gone. No wonder she was breaking up. She's only half there. So let's go to five then. Could five be plexiglass? Is that possible? That's what I thought it was. Because they were using that during the war for canopies yeah. of, of jets. So and the plastic gun sites, but, but yeah, invented clear plastic, just not for gun sites, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think like, plexiglass kind of makes sense. Number six, Wilson Great Batch. That's a great name. Pacemaker. Um, oh, pace. Let's see. Pacemaker. Yeah, pace card pacemaker. There weren't pacemakers before '58. Pacemaker makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That here makes sense. It was close. Yeah, that that's time. A, that's a good answer. Pacemaker is a good. Idea. That's good. Which no, different I don't. Yeah. Oh, I know in seven. I know that guy's last name is actually on the. That's X rays. Is what he he he, dis he discovered X rays. Röntgen is a measurement. Röntgen of, is it a measurement of an X ray? Yeah. Of an X ray. Okay, so X rays. Oh, mm -hmm. X rays. Number eight. Pharmacist John Pemberton failed to create a cure for headaches. Instead, creating this headaches. Um. Coca-Cola? Is that possible? Um, well, it is. I think Coke was a little later. And um, Coke had actual cocaine in it for a while, but that's not really a something cocaine wasn't created because it was a distillation of a natural thing. Created a cure for headaches. Like, I know heroin was before 
could it be something along the lines of a heroin, like one of those type type of painkillers, an opioid? Oh, oh. Paula no, is saying, no, those, no, the opiates were way back in the. Well, I know, but I mean, like point. another opioid. Uh, Paula says number eight is Coca Cola. Yeah, we, I thought she's Coca Cola. Me. Oh, you think hey, yeah. really, Paula? You think it was that early? She's yeah, yeah. Uh, it was in the late eighteen hundreds. That okay. makes sense. And then she says for nine, she says it's insulin. Oh, that's good. Let me look at that again. Number ten, I, I read about this. Um, she says it's silly putty. Silly putty, yeah. That's oh, what silly putty. Mark had before. Yes, that's that's it. Okay. Good job. Okay, we got microwave oven, Velcro, Teflon, MSG, plexiglass, pacemaker, X-ray, Coca-Cola, insulin, and Silly Putty. What um, does she say about the MSG? She's going to reboot her internet. She yeah. says, um, I'll ask her. Again, I thought MSG was um, developed by the Japanese very early on, but, so, but I'm trying to remember. But it kind of makes sense, though. Yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, they used to sell it separately. And you could put it on your food. But they yeah. haven't yeah, done it. I think it. you could still buy it. Me, I turned on the light. I turned on the light. God damn it. I got the God damn it part. Because I've heard her say that phrase so that, many times. That was yeah. clear as a bell. <laughs> clear as a bell. <laughs> Did, did Paula, maybe Paula can text what she thinks. Yeah, four. I just texted her about four. Your pictures keep disappearing and reappearing. Who did? And I'm on data now, not Wi-Fi, and it's still a problem. Well, mm -hmm. you're in LA, so you should figure okay, it out. Did you guys get number five? I was thinking of something, but I don't, I just don't plexiglass. know. That name sounds familiar. We, we have plexiglass. The only thing really? we need okay. is four, and we got MSG unless we come up with something else. Well, mm -hmm. MSG was uh, discovered in, uh, I think it was either China or Japan. It was not. Okay, I was so thinking something, something sweet. When was oh. the that's, that's actually, oh, something sweet, like a saccharin? Sweet, not salty. But 1879, like coming up with one of the fake sugars or something? Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe saccharin. I think 1879? Well, I'm just going by the name. That really Saccharin? sounds familiar. And I've heard of that that particular incident. I just didn't know the year, but I believe that's what it's referring to. Because he, the person who found Saccharin was by accident when he tasted it on his fingers because he had left residue on it. Okay. That makes that makes more sense to MSG. Because I just saw a yeah, special it does. In Japanese. Okay, say so Saccharin or artificial sweetener, just in case. Yeah, it just seems so early, doesn't it? 1879? Yeah. Okay. What, what did you get for the other ones? I put in my guesses. We got microwave oven for number one, Velcro for number two, oh. Teflon for number three, saccharin or artificial sweetener now for four, plexiglass for five, pacemaker for six, x-ray for seven, okay. Coca-Cola for eight, insulin for nine, and silly putty for 10. We took your suggestions there, Paula, with the yeah, that's good. I'm trying to remember. I thought that was the one that was silly putty based on the description. I think you're yeah, yeah I think that's you're, what that's what I to remember. Yes. That's the only one I remember from Rob's category. Hope you made a lot of money out of it. They still <laughs> yeah. make it. Yeah. It's still it's, it's still pulling hair out of some around here. Yeah. Somebody gave me some and I think Paula might have gave me some. Somebody gave me some silly putty, so I think I still have it here. Uh, yeah, that was really popular when I was a kid. Oh, it's still here. It still is. It still is? Yeah. I don't know about here, but because I, I don't know any kids. I don't think my niece played with it. I don't think my dad's second set of kids played with them. Second set of kids? It sounds like the uh, the, the <laughs> hobbits, you know, like second breakfast or something. <laughs> yeah, well, he got remarried and had two more kids with the second wife, and they are more than 20 years younger than me and my sister. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Where do they yeah. live? Well, um, one is married now and has her own two children who are um, fraternal twins. She lives outside of Chicago. 
maybe 50 miles in like Minocqua, uh, Minioc Minioca or something like that. Some, uh, I'm a Native American tribe name. And the other guy, uh, my my brother, I don't know where he is right now. I think he's living in Illinois, Indiana, or Indiana, working at a job three up girls. There. Your dad had three girls and one boy. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. That is interesting. And your older sister's in Florida? No, my younger sister. Not and my youngest. My, he's my young sister. She's my younger sister, full blood. Are you the younger sister? Are you the oldest? I'm the oldest. Okay. I'm the oldest. That makes sense then. Yeah. I know where you so live. My, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> my I haven't been to your house. But I, yeah. I know where you live. Well, my sister and I are, are two years apart. Mm. <clears throat> this cool. is what George just did. He went upstairs and got toilet paper and brought it down. So hey, you know, that's not as bad as what <laughs> my cat does with toilet paper. I thought you I thought you made it so he couldn't have the toilet paper. He can't have the toilet paper. I don't know how where he got it. But right. I have to I can't wait right. to go upstairs. Look what her dog did. Show show, oh my show God. what your dog George did. Just the toilet paper modification. <laughs> Making it unusable, but you know. What is it? But yeah, you can still use oh, that. You just... Oh, it's a toilet paper roll. She says, look what my dog just brought me. He went upstairs and got it and brought it down to me. He wants a toilet paper. He also brought, he also brought my, my reading glasses. I don't know how he got both. Yeah. Well, remember paper, when we were in the house awesome. and the toilet paper roll said that there's no toilet paper on the roll? And she says it had a little note that said he had to use the toilet paper on the, on the counter because her dog was, remember that? <laughs> well, well, something something we just learned a couple of weeks ago is in Thailand you cannot flush toilet paper in a toilet. Right. And that's a lot of that. countries. A lot of countries you can't. And it turns out we learned we we bought a house here and our daughter visited, and um, we have a septic tank and it all got clogged. Oh. And it turns out that the plumbing in this country doesn't allow the use of any kind of toilet papers. Yeah, they have separate cans. Like in Greece, they do the same thing. I where think it's they do it in Mexico too. Some in parts of Mexico and in parts of. Uh... So you have to deposit it into. This some... is a trivia subject. No, I don't know. We're, we already guessed all no. the questions. This is a great so trivia just... subject. Poop is it's a great category. Who wants it? What countries yeah. make right. it, uh, have a, you you stand on the toilet? Oh. Uh. <laughs> so here, so here, what they have, even though we never used it, we have a brand new house. But there's a, um, a spray gun next to all the toilets in this country. Oh, yeah. So after you go, you spray yourself mm -hmm. off with water. Like a bidet-ish sort of. Yeah. Gun. And then there's toilet paper here, but the toilet paper here is much more <laughs> absorbent than in America. And so you basically dry yourself with toilet paper and put it into a waste can. But we never yeah. knew. So that's why our septic system. Oh, is oh that's, that's pretty smelly. It's not. It's actually, that's what I thought. That's why we never dreamt. Because when you go to restaurants and uh -huh. hotels, there are big signs everywhere. It says never put any toilet paper in the toilets. And we yeah. never paid attention because that's, you know, that's gross. But no, because you clean yourself with the, um, with the spray gun. So no, we, I mean to deposit used toilet paper in it. Yeah, so we you never know, did we, it. Like we say that in Greece, it was, you know, it was kind of gross at first, but you just get used to it. And the thing closes up right away. It has a nice lid on it and it has a plastic bag in it. When it gets full, it just, you know, it's just. Yeah, it's that's what we're doing. Management. I mean, you think yeah, about we, it, if you own a dog or something, you're picking up poop all the time anyway. It's not like a. Well, only if can. your dog is, is <laughs> not house <laughs> Well, you gotta pick well, you, it up. well, if you're a decent owner, you pick it up outside. Yeah, you gotta pick Unless it up. Unless it's your yard. <laughs> yeah. Some people leave well, it. We, well, we used to have a 250 pound Newfoundland. So um, we had to pick it up all the time. Otherwise. Oh, this conversation's really taken a <laughs> hasn't it? I, I went over to this Thanks guy's good. house. He was uh, my parolee. I did a home visit. Oh, <laughs> not to his backyard because I, I need to see, you know, what they had, if they had anything set up where they might hold somebody hostage, because that was a big thing in the news at the time. You couldn't walk in his backyard. They let their dog poop all over the backyard. They didn't pick up any of the poop. Oh, no. And it was like, Gross. whenever you stepped, you're a stepping induction. 
Oh, oh. It was well, like sounds... unusual. Unusable. Well, oh. there were areas. There were areas in Mumbai in India where it was human, and as you're walking oh. on the sidewalk, it's exactly like that. Well, that happens in San Francisco. They have so oh, many yeah. homeless there. They have urine, human urine, and human poop on the sidewalks. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, That's when I gotten really San unbearable. Francisco, yeah, when oh, I went God. to San Francisco in February, well, I went on a lot of tours. So most of them avoided the areas where there was going to be a lot of homeless with poop on the sidewalk. I, so I didn't see that, that but I've, I've read that happens. I heard that because you know, we used to live in Santa Barbara. So we used to go to San Francisco all the time. And that's, you know, way back in the 70s and 80s. But, but yeah, it's gone downhill. It's, They've got it, so it, liberal. They can't that was take glamorous, the 70s and 80s. Yeah, yeah but beautiful. San Francisco has gotten so liberal, it cannot take care of its city anymore. Oh, my and God. It's gotten really silly. So oh they need, God. yeah, they need to go back to the middle ground. Mm -hmm. God, I can't believe it. Yeah, in order to run the city decently, they need to go back to the middle ground. Middle huh. ground? Yeah, the you know, like between oh, uh, oh less liberal. being liberal and being conservative, they need to meet in the middle. There's cause... some mm -hmm. that I, I that's a problem, boy. I wouldn't say. Good job, Kyle. Thank you very much. All right, everybody well, ready? Yeah, everybody. We got back. number. We got number one. <laughs> I sure hope so. One is the old microwave oven. Faith was right. How'd you guess? Did anybody How could anyone us? have known that? I am well, you, sorry. I didn't realize he was giving the category. I thought he was still talking about his podcast. I mean, in all fairness, it didn't have a number. Well, I didn't hear the name of the category said either, but I just might have missed it. Okay, okay. Yeah. All that stuff was in the chat, you guys. This Accidental is really inventions. Really inventions. On account of uh, that, I was thinking you had to put oven. You couldn't just put microwave. Yay. But then uh number two is Velcro. Yeah. Number three, I thought this was gonna be trickier, but a lot of people got it. Teflon. Oh damn it. Huh? Number four, a couple of common close calls. It was not MSG, it was not aspartame, it was yeah. saccharin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's kicking himself for not remembering these things that were his own questions. <laughs> 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 number so four, three, three of those four were and we got two right so that's not good <laughs> number five was super glue ah. uh, uh, it, it is crazy glue acceptable we said plexiglass no, because, well, yeah. it's I, it, I, I believe they're chemically identical I think it's called one thing yeah. in, in, in like yeah. if you spell okay, okay, it with a K <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. expect yeah. crazy but only with the K glue. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's as the long K as you spell crazy though. glue with the K, it's a, it'll count. Spelling mm. doesn't count. And then yeah. number six, that bad resistor and its rhythmic pattern inspired the pacemaker. Very Yay. good, Leonard. You were nicer than I was. I didn't say anything about a pattern in my question on this one. Well, on the number seven, it was X-rays that were accidentally discovered. Mm -hmm. uh, Yay. Leading us to number eight, maybe you could think it might cure your headache, but it's just a Coca-Cola. Yes. Well, with the original formulation, it's got some stuff in yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it'll make you feel good. Uh, sure, make sure. you forget you have a headache anyway. Co cocaine was is good for a uh, headache, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the original formulation just might have fixed mm. Well, if you had a good Coca-Cola, you might find your body producing some insulin shortly thereafter. Yes. Yes. Uh, we almost uh, talked ourselves out of that one. Yeah. Uh, if. Huh. And last but not least, Silly Putty. Yeah. Uh, hey, seven. Don't, the game. don't be ridiculous. Nah. Good job. Good job. I think Rob had a slinky in here somewhere in his yes, question. Yes, I did have a slinky. I think he did, yeah. Really kicking myself about the super glue. I just didn't wasn't thinking uh, an adhesive. Yeah, we did plexiglass. I thought that was good too. All right. So where are we at? It's just a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing Barbie's box. We got seven. That's respectable. And Barbie never gets pregnant. Can't always comes in another box. 
We got nine. Woohoo! And waiting on Smith. We got ten. Oh. And beep, 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 Stop beep, the beep, count. Beep, 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 Stop beep, the beep, count. Beep, 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 We got six. Why can't you? All did, right. Did, did, you, did you get microwave? <laughs> X is what you click on to close something. Nine. Ooh, 8.2. You guys got, you did really well. Okay, let's see. Good job, good job, good job. So we have Kevin coming up, and Kevin is on my screen somewhere. Yep. Oh, there he is. He's not on my screen. He's like hiding in behind his his avatar thing there. Hiding um, behind his just not on. No, my camera's off. There it is. So okay. uh, category okay. is greater than, less than, or equal to. So every answer will be either greater than, less than, or equal to. So. Ooh. First question, and most of them are about area and things like that, and uh, geolo geographical things. So I'll do the first two. Ooh, I'll greater than Billy Joel. Two at a time. <laughs> the first one. The number of states that touch the Pacific Ocean is either greater than, less than, or equal to the number of states that touch the Gulf of Mexico. Question number two, the total of the above, the Pacific and the Gulf total, is greater than, less than, or equal to the number of states that touch the Atlantic Ocean. Questions three and four. Number of countries larger than Alaska, and I mean larger by area, not population. That's not, you read something totally different than you just. Number of pasted. countries larger than Alaska. That's not what number four is that you pasted in. It's Texas. I'm, based, I'm, I'm three. speaking three. Three. What? Number of countries larger than Alaska. Oh, you're doing two at a time. Oh. Yeah, yes. he said that. He said Greater that. Than, less than or equal to my, the number of countries not, smaller than Rhode Island. Doing, so I don't see four. Question four. The area of the King Ranch, which is the largest ranch in Texas, is greater than, less than, or equal to the area of Rhode Island. Wow. Next two questions, Rob. Thank you. Questions coming at you. Number five. Number of original colonies that border the Atlantic Ocean greater than, less than, or equal to 10. Number six. The length of the Grand Canyon greater than, less than, or equal to the length of the Great Barrier Reef. They get weirder. <laughs> number seven the total length of all the sections of the great wall of china ever built greater than less than the tray and siberian railroad oh, i thought you were going to say trump's mexican wall <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that you know, now no, that you no, said that easy. i wish i would have used that in a question. <laughs> an easy one i needed uh I, that would have been a good one to, to use somewhere the shortest distance across the english channel is greater than, less than, or equal to the length of the Cape Cod Canal. And I got three more, so there's a bonus question. I'm rolling my eyes. The <laughs> widest point of the English Channel is greater than, less than, or equal to the length of the Panama Canal. Number 10, the area of Jamaica is greater than, less than, or equal to the area of Lake Ontario. And number 11, the area of Great Salt Lake, meaning the surface area, uh, greater than, less than, or equal to the area of Rhode Island. Go to your rooms. Oh, wait, before you go, I uh, didn't do Paula, it. Paula wanted me to tell the her team, I think it's team three, she's rebooting her computer. She's having problems. I'm giving her the questions right now. So Okay. And for my, my team, I'm going to be a minute. I have to go do something for my cats. Okay, cats come first. Cats come first. Yes, she is. Oh, it's Susan. You have Susan. Oh, 
Help them out. They're lost without you. Hey, Susan, yeah. I just took a call from another program. I'm filming a story on Monday before I fly out on Tuesday. Really? What is it? What is it for? Another the psychic that appeared on that show with me the other day. Another TV show doing a story on him. They want my comments. That guy who was in the graveyard, that psychic. Yeah. His comments. Jeez. I like how he's I told. I said like to him, skeptical. Like, what are you doing? Oh, well, are you, doing you know, we have to prove ourselves to the skeptics. Oh, really? Just do the basics. Have you proved anything? What did you? What about COVID? What about? I look. You know, well, I looked this guy up, Susan. I never heard of him. To, no, I'd never heard of him, and that's what I said to the reporter. I said there are a dime a dozen. And he thought that was pretty funny. I might say that on the show. But I, I looked this guy up, and let me give you two quotes from him, the so-called psychic. I think I think he thinks he's real. You know, he's so airy-fairy and waffy and whiffly waffly And he said on that program, um, I think it's the job of the psychic to convert a skeptic into a believer. <laughs> on another interview, he said... Okay. So I don't think I'm really in the world to try and prove the skeptics. He doesn't know. He's, he's 25. Just, he doesn't know he's whatever from anything, you know. He's just trying to be famous. Oh, well. He is. He's making six figures out of TikTok, so. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't do, mind do that. Do something simple. Do something simple. like. Do you want to teach me how to be a skeptic so, or, or a psychic? A psychic, so I can Watch make my channel. Some... Watch it's my simple. Channel. Just, I'll teach you how to be just a be good. Money is. <laughs> just be good with lying. Okay, so let's go to our questions. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, King Ranch is larger than Rhode Island. Is it really? Yep. Wow. So it's greater than. That's question four. Yeah. And there are five states that touch the Pacific and five states that touch the uh, Gulf. So that's equal to. On um, which one? One. Oh, okay. Back to one. The five states that touch the Pacific are California, Oregon, Washington, Washington Alaska, and Hawaii. Hawaii and Alaska. Right. Equal to. Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. And Florida. That's question two. Oops. Mm. Oh, I can't put equals an equal sign in here. Yeah, but need... how many touch the so what's the number that touched the Atlantic? Uh twelve for no more than that. Right. The so the so the total is less than. The total of one and two is less than. So two is less than? The number of countries larger than Alaska, the number of countries smaller than Rhode Island. Well, there is no country. Oh, country. There are definitely countries smaller than Rhode Island. Right, right. Yeah. And there um, aren't a lot of countries greater than bigger than Alaska, but there are a few. So it's probably uh, greater than? Because there's probably a lot more. Wait, lesser than. Less Because there's lesser countries of, that are greater than Alaska compared to, there's probably a lot more countries. I think there's a lot of little countries. Yeah, so probably less than. So the way it's worded, it's going to be less than. Yeah. Hmm. And four, we have greater than. Um, number of original colonies that bordered the Atlantic. Okay, well, which ones didn't? Uh, Pennsylvania and uh, Vermont. Vermont doesn't touch anywhere? No. Doesn't touch the Atlantic, no. So New, Hampshire, New Hampshire's in the way. So it'd be great, greater than 10 because it's 11 because there's 13 colonies. Length of the Grand Canyon versus length of the Great Barrier Reef. I... Barrier Reef is longer. 
Harry Reef is very long. Okay, so the answer would be less than. Less than. And seven is also less than, I would think. Trans Siberian Railroad goes from, uh, actually goes from St. Petersburg to Vladivostok. Yeah, but the Great Wall of China zigzags a lot. So does the railroad. It winds. So, so you're saying the Trans-Siberian Railroad is longer, you think? I'm, I'm, I'm not. No, I that's am. what Bill says. Then China, the Great Wall of China, ever built. They're, they're, they're both long. How about we say equals? But unlikely. unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be exactly equal is not going to happen. Okay, so. A Great Wall of China. I have no opinion. I just want an answer. And I mean, the fact that he said the total length of all sections makes me think that that's going to be greater. But I'm that Trans Siberian is a very long. It's a very long railroad. I would I would opt for that. For greater. And the Great Wall of China is famous and everything, but I don't know if it could. You know, that's a very long distance. Yeah, it is a very long distance. Okay, let's move on if you guys don't have an agreement. Then we can come back to it. So number eight, the shortest distance between the English Channel. Across the English Channel, channel compared to the length of the Cape Cod Canal. No idea. I've never I have, Cape Cod. I have no idea where the Cape Cod Canal is. I don't know if it goes across Cape Cod or okay, down the length of Cape Cod. Out. Okay, number nine, widest point of the English Channel, length of the Panama Canal. I think the widest point of the English Channel is wider. I think that's greater than. Or the length of the Panama Canal. I've never, I've never, you guys get along. You sleep together all day long on that chair. Now you just are they on my chair again? Yeah, and she she tagged him. They spend all day curled up together. And yeah. what did you wake her up or something? Is that what the problem? They're just staring each other down like this. Okay, let's see. Area of Jamaica. Area of Lake Ontario. Great Salt Lake area of Rhode Island. You guys, come on. I don't know. I I think Jamaica is bigger than Lake Ontario. Yeah. I think so too. You agree? Yeah, okay. really? Lake Ontario is pretty big. Yeah. Jamaica is not that small, though. Yeah. Okay, so, you, so 10, we're going to say is greater. I'm trying than... to visualize them on the map and yeah, the problem I have is it's all the maps I can visualize are Mercator projections. And yeah. that distorts things up it's north right. so much. You're absolutely right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so oh, well, let's go for Jamaica. That's all right. All right. Widest point of the English Channel versus and the we, and we've, of the we've also got Canal. number eleven. We've also got number eleven. Yeah, I know. But nobody had to answer that right away either. Yeah, great. You know, I Salt think Lake. Ontario is bigger than Jamaica. But the way Ontario is, it's up there north. It's long and it's long and and skinny, but it's. I, I think. I think it's longer than Jamaica is. And how will, I'm going to play Karen? How will we make a decision? There's only four of us. I'll let Richard break the tie. Richard, question ten: Jamaica yeah. or Ontario? Well, Lennon makes a really good point. I'm visualizing off 
distorted maps of the world. I'm still I'm still leaning towards Lake Ontario. Area of Jamaica is larger than Ontario. No, Ontario is larger. So we've got, we've got two we've got two less than and I, one I greater than. I give you a good answer. Okay, sorry, Richard. I'm sorry. Jamaica is less I'm than towards Lake Ontario being bigger. So that would mean this is less than. Okay, right. so it should be less than. All right. Okay, that's all I want to know. But all right. The, uh, how about question seven? The Great Wall of China versus the railroad. Bill says that the I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna uh yield to Leonard on this one. I think uh, Great Wall of China. Okay, so that's and you, in my mind. Great Wall of China is bigger than so it's a greater yeah. than. Okay. All right, English Channel versus Cape Cod. Channel. I don't know the I don't know. Cape Cod, I don't know that area. I have no Sorry, idea what the Cape Cod yeah. Canal is. Okay, Bill. I don't know either. Well, it's not equal. <laughs> I guess... I'm going to say greater than. All right. Somebody made a decision. Thank you. Why this point of the English Channel versus the length of the Panama Canal? I'm picturing it on a map. I seems like the Panama Canal would be longer. It's not big, but it's the shortest distance across I, the English Channel. Can't they swim it? Don't, don't people swim? No, the, number nine is the widest point of the English Channel. Oh, 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 oh okay. All right. As I was gonna say, because I've heard of people swimming the English Channel. Right. That must be at the smallest point. The widest right. point of the English Channel. Yeah, that's a that's a tricky one. Um, well, I know you could. I think the Panama Canal is, Panama is surprisingly Canal. um short. Right. Oh. Um, we need to the Panama Canal. Uh, Panama Canal. I would guess it's somewhere between thirty and fifty miles. Uh, say forty miles approximately, and. The widest point of the uh, English Channel, but would that be uh, from between Scilly and uh, uh, and Brittany? Somewhere around there. Is that more than 30 miles? <laughs> it's an it's an interesting category, I must admit. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, let's I would go Panama is is longer than the uh than the English channel. Okay, so then it's lesser than that's a less than, yeah. Okay, so the bonus one is area of the Great Salt Lake compared to the area of Rhode Island. And this is a terrible question because the area of the Great Salt Lake is variable. Yeah. Today. If we measured it Always. this afternoon. Yeah, but and, no one has that number. Okay, well, it might be such a hugely different number that... Yeah. Um. Very tricky questions. Yeah, I, I'm going to say the Great Salt Lake. Has anybody ever been to Rhode Island? Oh, yeah. 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 Could you drive around it in the... How long would it take you? Well, it's it's got... Um, it has seashore, so you can't drive all the way around it. Okay. But it's, yes. a, it's, a li it's a little tiny state. Is it bigger than, is it smaller than Oahu? They're about, okay, they're about the same, you know, that they're, they're somewhere between 1,500 and 1,700 square miles. Uh, I, I, I'd go with uh, Salt Lake being a little bit larger. You guys like that idea? 
Okay, so I think I saw Leonard said, so the area of the Great Salt Lake is greater than the area of Rhode Island. I think so. Okay, right. so the only one we said equals is number one, which is an actual number. Right. It's yeah. not like veritable or, you know, anything like that. Right. Okay, I think we did well. So we have equals, less than, less than, greater than, greater than, less than, greater than, greater than, less than, less than, greater than. That's all I have written down. Good job. That is an interesting category, the thought. Yeah. I I always thought I had better sense of geography than that. <laughs> we're really kind of comparing some well, things that are not, yeah. you know, the Great Wall of China compared to the railroad. Yeah, the, the point of it being wiggle, zigzaggy all over the place. Yeah, in all can, sections. Yeah, in all they, sections. Yeah, you can picture one railroad one railroad is longer than another railroad or one wall is bigger than another wall or a state is bigger than another state but comparing it like this is this yeah. odd. it's it's very interesting i like this i hope he does more like these there's a ranch in texas that is bigger than rhode island that yeah. is just amazing everything's bigger in texas <laughs> King Ranch. I don't know what. It, what oh. Well, the King King family has a ranch in Big Island of Hawaii too, and it's huge. And these are people that like are known. I I've never heard of these people till you. Oh, yeah, but they're yeah, they're very well known. They're they're good friends of Bill. <laughs> so they're cattle people. Hardly, hardly. And there's also they also own a ranch in California down near. Uh, oh. uh, uh, Koalinga. Hmm. But Susan, I was, I don't know why, but I was thinking that I'd have to come and visit you on a weekend, which I don't have to do. I can visit you during a week for a couple of days. Yeah, if it's possible. So, I don't know what you're scheduling. Like. So you let me know. I'm going to be gone, though, most of the time. I think you're here. I really want to go up to see your talk, but your talk is going to be when I'm gone. My talk will be on the 13th. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm probably leaving, and I haven't decided for sure on the 10th, I think. And coming back like on the 23rd or something. I don't know. Maybe well, I can just come up in, to see late you in the month, I can visit. I can visit you in late in the month before I go up to Oregon. When do you leave to Oregon? Leave on the 29th. We'll play it by ear. Yeah. 29th. If all of a sudden, I'll, I'll, a I'll talk get Deborah for... and, and Karen and we'll get them in the car and we'll just come up and see you guys up in the Bay Area somewhere. I'll be giving a talk at the Berkeley Library on the 13th, man. Yeah. And you're giving a talk in Bend? Yeah, on the 29th. Oh, so you're going up and talking that day. Well, that's going to be nice that you're going to be seeing him without the jet lag. Yeah. Yeah. More drinking, probably, you know, in Dunning. Playing pool. <laughs> yep. I'm going for a swim in a lake. Yeah, I'm going to be up in Bend uh, the very beginning of September. I'm not sure how much okay. earlier than that. Uh, my be up there for my granddaughter's birthday. Oh, nice. I thought that they had grandchildren at the, where was it they were giving away grandchildren? You could find them at state parks or what was it? The, was yeah, national about? parks. National parks? Yeah, there there are many grandchildren. Grandchild right now. Yeah, are there are many grandchildren at national parks, usually with grandparents. And <laughs> I hope. You know, Richard, I have. Um, at least I with told, parents. I have that L magazine, L E L L E. That, there was a reporter who wrote to me oh, a year ago about psychics and it was amazing the conversation we were having but she was told to write an article about mediums and she it, it should be really interesting but 
they sat on it for a year. So they've just gotten back and they started, they did a, what is it called? The New York Times did the same thing with me. They go through and they tell you, I need to fact check what you said. Uh, but they can't tell you what you said. They can only summarize what you said. Uh, and you have to tell them yes or no and all that. But the New York Times did the same thing with me. But they don't let just let you see what it is. It's just like, is this your name? Is it spelled correctly? And did you did you say this sort of vaguely? But anyway, I don't know. This is she made it. The reporter contacted me. She says they had to put some stuff in there. Some stuff about there's going to be some medical stuff in there about psychics and something. And then she also found some psychotherapists or some nonsense that was said that some people are helped with um with psychics that yeah. they need it as a crutch or something and i'm like th there's no reason you had to add that in the article come on now it's kind it's of like silly. placebo effect it just is a silly thing to have to add so the second other side you know i'm like for everyone you can show me that it's successful i can give you probably 100 people who it's not a, that it's uh it's a what are you talking drug. about psychics your your favorite uh my favorite, favorite one of subject. susan's favorite topics anyway well at least a favorite another? topic for susan to explain this article won't come out until october anyway so that's fine all right that was good kevin we liked it in our room a lot i hope it was fun i hope to try to get people to think it definitely i hope you uh, uh think of more weird. like this because that was fun was, I, I enjoyed it fun. and First then you one, had to think about is that lesser than or greater than how you word it? Yeah, you have to think. You have to think yeah, about it. It was really more than like one answer, kind of, you know, because how many states touch the Pacific Ocean? How many touch, if you forgot Alaska and Hawaii, you screwed up. Mm -hmm. So the first answer is five equals five. So it's five states touch the Gulf Sorry. of Mexico and five touch the Pacific Ocean. And then the second answer is 10 total is mm -hmm. less than 14. Right. 14 Yay. touched the Atlantic Ocean. Of the original colonies of the 13. Wait, wait, you're skipping. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, the number of countries. Countries larger than Alaska. I skipped one. Two. Countries larger than Alaska is 18. Is less than 29 oh. countries. <gasps> oh. than Rhode Island. Not even the close. The answer is lesser than? No, less even than. close. Yeah. Number four. The King Ranch. This is a disputable one because if you look it up, it says it's bigger than Rhode Island, but if you look up the area of the King Ranch, it is slightly smaller than Rhode Island. So it's less than. What? What? They're lying? Are going on? Someone in Texas is <laughs> lying Yeah, they claim about... it's bigger, but then if you actually look up the answer of each one individually, they uh, it's 100. Well, they're just making a bold Someone in Texas. Texas. Bigger in Texas. Square miles. Someone in, in Someone in Texas is lying about the size of something <laughs> in Texas. That yeah. doesn't I'm shocked. Me. I tell you, yeah, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> then 12 of the original 13 colonies touched the ocean. Pennsylvania, uh -huh. the only one. So 12 is greater than 10. Wait, wait, what about Vermont? Vermont uh, does not touch the ocean. And it was not an original oh, colony. Oh, it's not an original colony. Oh. Uh -huh. So I that means it was, was wait. Does that mean it was never a colony? Because the thirteen colonies signed a declaration, and then we were a country. So I don't get original in that statement. The thirteen <laughs> original ones that are represented by the stripes and stuff on the on the American flag. Yeah, I don't believe that Vermont was an original. No, but it was never a colony ever. Right. So, no, so original colonies and original states are essentially the same thing. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's 12 of them put that way. 12 out of the 13 touch the ocean. Pennsylvania is the only one that doesn't. So that's, okay, so that's greater. So 12 is greater than 10. Even if you didn't know about, you know, which yeah, ones. Okay. okay. Number six, the length of the Grand Canyon is 277 miles. The length of the Great Barrier Reef is 1,420 miles. <laughs> oh. So wow. slightly less. Oh. Yeah, less. <laughs> Somewhat. Just ever so slightly. Yeah. The number of sections all the Great Wall of China ever built. Wow. Is look at Greater that. than the Great Barrier yeah. Reef. Wow. We went back the and forth on that one. What? what? The, the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Yeah. The Railroad. I'm sorry. The, 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 uh, yeah, I'm reading it wrong. China was that off. much bigger. The China Wall. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. The Great Wall of China is bigger than the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Longer. 
Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. We really were perplexed on that. The shortest mm -hmm. distance across the, the English Channel. Uh, which one was that? Is, uh, eight. Eight. Number eight is 20 miles. And the uh, length of the Cape Cod Canal is 17.4 miles. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, so that's Thank greater. Yourself. Where is, so where is the Cape? I mean, Cape Cod Canal. I mean, obviously on Cape Cod. But... If you look at Cape Cod in the main part of Massachusetts, if you had to boat around the the whole hook of Cape Cod, they cut the canal as close to the Massachusetts side as they could. So you don't have to go all the way around. Got so, it. so you cut through. Thank it's you. about it's 17 miles long. Uh, number nine. The widest point of the English Channel is 150 miles, wow. is greater than the length of the Panama Canal of only 50 miles. Wow, we really got our number. Oh, 150 wow. miles, wow. I try to make these sound a little interesting, you know, like, can it yeah. really be that big? Yes. Uh, I like that you said. didn't equate, like, bodies of water to bottles of water, or, you know, like, I, I, it was much more yeah. interesting. The area of Jamaica is less than... <laughs> So it will fit inside Lake Ontario. Mm -hmm. So Ontario is bigger. Jeez. Yep. Uh, heck of a lot. Wow. And the area of the Great Salt Lake is greater than the state of Rhode yes. Island. Yay. You could drop Rhode Island in that lake. Yeah, it's close, got... but yeah. it's greater than. So the only yeah. one that was equal was the first one. Then it's but Rhode Island would float. Um, <laughs> yeah, they might. It might. Unless they're a witch. No, that's <laughs> 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 that was good that was good kevin i, I, I hope it was it. fun i try to make them interesting and simple it's interesting answers. it yeah, was, that was good. interesting and think aboutable think yeah about it made you think about different different things that was good okay so let's see what we did Get with our scores. scores wow let's see if we confused anybody oh, all right team it's a matter of time before trump gets arrested for grabbing barbie's box or for the chorus we got five yeah and we go Perfect to score. beep 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 Wow, very good. You guys are funny. All right, Barbie never gets pregnant because Ken always comes in. We got nine. Nine. Wow. Talk about stopping the count. Waiting on Smith. Hmm. Do you did you count, Susan? Oh, I I wasn't counting. <laughs> My team got ten. Then <laughs> it was high. I think so it we was get. 10. Yeah, it's either ten or nine. Well, we had the bonus in there too. We got that right, so it must. Yeah. Be 10. We didn't have anything wrong, so it was ten. All right, X is what you click on to close something. Six. I was writing it all down, but I didn't actually go back mm. to look. But yeah, ooh, look at that! It's ooh, waiting on Smith. Wow, that was my category. That's reverse the curse. Seven point six. Yeah. Okay, so Cobb, where are you on this screen? Let me see if I find you. I gotta move my. Oh, there he is, right in the middle. Hey, co-host. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Before you start, I have no bonus for next week. That's gonna be a really hard game if we don't have a bonus. I'll do it. Okay. okay, Peggy will do it. Peggy got it. Oh, All Robin, right, Robin should do it because she just is back with us. So let Robin do it. Robin's doing it. Yay. Okay, thank you. Got it. That way she'll have to show up. Yeah, I know for real. She might she might then Peggy will have to do the backup if she doesn't, right? And Peggy the backup in case she doesn't. <laughs> Prepare a backup. And now I have case. to do the backup of the backup open in my mouth. Yeah, there you go. Don't <laughs> Are we ready? Go, oh, yeah. Rob. Okay, so I was going to do Barbie. And in fact, one of my thoughts was like the most popular Barbie dolls or the most, you know, best selling. And I couldn't freaking find a list that was reasonable and consistent. So I didn't do that. So I did, as you can tell from behind. Popular me, bombs. Pixar. Pixar films. Okay, so this is going to be to name any 10 of the top 20 pixar films ranked by domestic box office take per box office mojo oh, lord and no that was not one i don't think 
and <laughs> oh lord i don't remember that title uh i'm giving you just a few hints uh it might not really help but it's interesting release dates range from 95 through 2019 and uh, the number one film in this list made 608 million and the number 20 made only 152 million so uh, again there are uh, 20 in the list pick any 10 and because mono left we're not going to do mono rules so go to your room go to your rooms Okay. Good category. Wait, wait, let Carl, let Kyle send us to our rooms. Uh, Kyle. Kyle, did you do Kyle it? Did it? Kyle did I it. Did Kyle it. did it. Okay, I'm yeah, proud it. of you. Nobody's leaving this game without knowing how to use all the tools of Zoom, or else. Anything yet? I'm in the wrong. You're in the wrong room. You can go. You have you have power. Don't say anything yet. I'm in the wrong room. Kyle's got how do I get out of this face? room. Kevin's a poopy face. I gotta go in the other room. Well, go. Bye. Okay, we got this, you guys. Right? Yeah, we can move up to last place. No. Stop. <laughs> okay. And so, why are you here, Susan? Because 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 Rob's gone. Cobb's gone. Yeah. Oh, I'm I Cobb. see. You're sitting in These for Rob. I got you. You're the you're the swing, as they yeah, say. That's how um, we've been playing for a very long time. You must have been. Okay. Oh no, I just. I've been uh, away for a month. I've um, cars, okay. cars maybe. Toy Story, well, the, uh, Toy, Toy Story, Toy yeah. Story. One, Ooh, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have to have their names, or just numbers? Weren't they? Yeah, I think they were just numbers. I think they were just numbers. Yeah, were there? Toy Story. I think there are three of them. Were they all top? They all top sellers. They're all four. There's four. Were they all the top four? Toy Story yeah. Four is a thing. Four. Really? Yes. Well, that were, was one were, of they all, were they all top sellers? Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Um, cars was uh, a Finding Nemo. Is that Pixar? I think so. I think so. Is that Pixar? I think it is. That's yeah. Disney, isn't it? It is. Pixar is is Disney now, right? But was it then? Yeah, I think yeah. when when Toy Story One came out. Um, which I watched about 500,000 times yeah. because I had oh, to because my kids were little. Um, I think it was, it was Disney and Pixar back then. What about um, Minions? Is that the name of that movie? Minions, Minions are great, but is that is Pixar? That, is that yeah, I think Pixar. it is. Minions. So the first one is, is called Despicable Me. Despicable Me, that's it. Yeah. Uh, 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 I think it's Despicable Me, me too. Like, Despicable Me too, I think, isn't that? Okay, do is Despicable like Me that. and do Minions. What about uh, the one, the one uh, with the uh, little uh, old man? Uh, up, 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 yeah, that's it. That's the up. one. Up, yeah, that's it. Is that Pixar? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Is. Okay, sure. Despicable Me, Minions. Should we do Despicable Me one because uh, two? Because that was also really popular. How about The Incredibles? Is that Pixar? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, the Incredibles. Yeah. Are we up to ten yet? It depends on if we're doing Despicable okay, Me nine. Two. If we add yeah. Despicable Me two, it's then it's then we're at ten. But let me think. What else would be in yeah, there? There must be other ones we can think of. Oh yeah, uh, I'm just not sure they're Pixar. Let me think. Yeah, I know. It's hard. I mean, Tangled was Disney. That's definitely Disney. Yeah, that was definitely Disney. Uh, same with uh, Frozen was all Disney. Oh, um, A Bug's Life. Oh, 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 Monsters, Inc. Monsters, what Inc. About, Monsters what Inc. What about what about Ice Age? I don't think it was a big seller. Ice Age wasn't a big seller? Oh. Not compared to Monsters, Inc. Maybe just in my family. Well, put a bug's life because that was definitely Pixar. Well, yeah, we're bugs, eleven. Bugs life. Okay. What about and Ants? Was that uh, was that one of the other companies? I don't remember which if Ants, was Ants. or something else. They were there on competing of, Bugs yeah, Life. Ants is that a Pixar? I don't even know that one. It's it came out the same time as Bugs Life. I don't know. I don't remember them. What's the company? What's what's the company uh, that, that that did uh, uh, what's the name? The ogre, um, um, Shrek. Shrek. 
I think that was Disney. No, no, no. That that was actually the anti Disney. I think they were actually poking fun at Disney. Um, oh. um I forgot. Uh, I forgot the cats. Is it Katzenberg? He, um, you know, he started his own company. Uh, he left Disney, Shrek? and and sh no, no, don't put down Shrek because Shrek was uh, Shrek for sure yeah. not uh, for yeah. not Disney. Okay. I was just trying to remember what the name of the company Monsters was. Monsters University. We have ten already. We can stop. Okay, but we're at like twelve. Are now. we happy with our ten? I don't know. I would take out like Toy Story four. <laughs> yeah, let's take that one. I out. think four was big because it came out like fifteen years after the other ones. So I think three might. Are we sure out. there's a four? I, I'm sure there's a three, but I'm not sure there's yeah a four. the one with Bo Peep and and he finally gets his freedom and he. Well, do we need all? We need all four. I mean, maybe there's ten of them. We'll just put <laughs> one to ten. <laughs> wait, wait. It says release dates from ninety five to two nineteen. Yeah, Toy Story four was out. Okay, so we've got Toy Story. Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, Finding Nemo. Cars. Oh, you want cars? You sure? Is I don't know. I'm going, what do you think? I, would, I, would... I, was, I was thinking cars. Also, what's what's the one with the toaster? Uh, the guy, the character is a toaster. And, uh, Toy Story. What? No. Um... Uh, well, well, maybe that was from Cars. I don't know. Okay, so about the toaster. I'm sorry. I interrupted this account. What's that, Lynn? I, I interrupted the count. I'm the, just well, I've got twelve. Stop, I've got 12. stop the count. Stop. Um, <laughs> I only have eleven, but are we positive that you're all on Pixar? Nope. Um. Is Despicable Me and the Minions is definitely Pixar? I think it is, but I'm... What else I would it be? If it's not Pixar and it's not Disney, what it would be? Why don't we take those out? Who did... Uh, who did... Um, um, what's his name? Uh, Squarepants. Um, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. That's not, a TV show. Not Pixar. Not Pixar. Pixar. Okay, so if we take out Despicable Me... With them, we're going to take out minions because we're thinking they might not be Pixar, right? I don't know. Okay, so that leaves an. I haven't seen minions because I my kids had already outgrown. Oh, they're you know. brilliant! I'd, I'd they're leave so them in. good. I'd leave them in it's, for now. Is that think. a separate? Is that a separate movie from Despicable Me? I what? thought that's where the minions are from. Despicable yeah, but me. there is a separate movie called Minions. Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, they're getting rid of us already here. Well, we got a minute. Yeah, okay, a minute. so I've got Toy Story, Toy Story yeah. 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, Finding Nemo, Up, Incredibles, Monsters, Inc., Cars, and Bugs Life. How many is that? Ten. But I am not 100% sure that Up is a Pixar. It might be. It is. I, I th I'm I sure think, it is. Yeah, I think Up is. Okay, Monsters Inc. I'm almost positive is. Okay. If good. so, that means po Monster Monster University is also. Yeah, one. but it's that. We what are you, what are we going to replace? I yeah, think your I uh, current replace. list is good. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right? There's just so many. What so know, Disney, so many... Pixar, and who would be the competitor? No. For an animated, I don't know. animated um. Well, that's what I was thinking of Cat. I just don't remember what Katzenberg's uh, company was called. We'll look it up. Which one's that? After, after Who? we get back. Who? He he was he was one of the 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 big guys in Disney, and I think he had a falling out with them. So if you when you watch when you watch uh, Shrek, like you know when the guys when they're going into the into the castle and they're they're following the the empty lines you, you know the uh uh thing it's like it, they're, they're all they're all uh, so much of the stuff is just poking fun at disney so he was uh, he was really sticking it to uh to the uh, disney guys that does seem vaguely familiar i just watch them i don't really notice which one's which i mean what if it's disney or pixar but i think you're right shrek was hilarious oh my gosh but yeah you got to check out the despicable me series it's 
so good. You would love it, Robin. You like that kind of humor. I'm sure I would. I'll I'll watch it with my granddaughter. Yeah, it's great. It's great stuff. Four, three, right. two, one. Brain trauma. What a granddaughter I can watch Despicable Me with. Okay. We're, don't say anything because we actually need to go back into. Yeah. Our so room. there was what? a glitch. There was a glitch. As soon as I hit closed rooms, I was in the room, and Faith and Romero bounced. That were bounced out. So their team was. Oh, out. weird. Yeah, we've yeah. lost. We've lost our. Oh, there's Faith and Romero. Yeah, we, we got kicked out. out. We got yes. kicked out. We got kicked out immediately. I was just, when Janine, the I was just saying, yeah. I'm going to open the rooms again. No, get... whatever you decide is fine, Faith and right. Romero. We're good. Get... They comments. know it. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. It's okay, Faith and Romero. Whatever. Are you, you okay? Decide. No, did, we don't need to go back. Whatever you, you settle. Want. Yeah, fine. You sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're good. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Because I'm yeah. making a last minute edit we didn't talk about. <laughs> which means, which means, which means, <laughs> Karen. Okay. What it means is Karen. Karen answered all the questions. No, no, no. no. It means Eight. that we're not attached to it. We came up with fourteen, and whatever they want to pick or add is fine. Look at those logos on there. We, we got all twenty in right order. Now. We have all twenty in order. Sure, you do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually think I made this too easy from when I saw the teams. I was like going back and forth. Should I just say, give me the top 10 and that's all you could do? Or should I make it 10 at that time? And I, just, I well, think this was too It easy. is what it is now. It is what it is. Okay. I'll so go back, but no, I so think here, if you did just done top 10, it would have been more challenging. Yeah, we would yeah. have argued a little more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so here we go. <laughs> uh, I will read the answers and then I'll put them all in the chat at the end for Susan. All right. Uh, should I give it to you alphabetical or in uh, ranking? No, uh, ranking. 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 Number ranking. one, released in uh, 2018 at 608 plus million dollars was Incredibles 2. Mm -hmm. Number two, at 486 million dollars, released two years earlier in 2016, was Finding Dory. It beat out Finding Nemo. Wow. Mm -hmm. Talking. Maybe because of inflation. Uh, I don't know. Toy Story 4. Told you there was a Toy Story 4. The last one was the highest at $434 million, uh, in 2019. That was Toy was Story great. 3 was number 4 in 2010 with $415 million. Inside Out. I saw some people putting that down. Never heard Three, of it. $356 million in 2015. I think it was three. And the original Nemo, Finding Nemo in... 2003 for 30 340 million uh i heard some people arguing whether up was uh was an animation or a real life which is really weird up <laughs> is number seven at it's 293 right, million it's they did such a good job so people remembered it as a live action oh, which wow. is really weird from 2009 monsters university beating oh, the original so one at 200, I never saw that one. At 268 yes. million in 2013. Oh, Next excellent. comes The Incredibles, the original one. That's a, that's excellent too. Uh, from 2014 at 261 million. Then the original, nope, Monsters Inc. Yes, 255 mm -hmm. million from 2001, all the way back there. Then comes to their own first order for Toy Story. Toy Story 2, mm -hmm. 245 million for the first one that's back in uh, the previous uh, century, 99. Um, previous the, millennium, uh, yes. The original cars from 2006 at 244 at that. million. Seen that. Then some people never heard of this one. Number 13 was Brave, 237 million. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never saw it. Great movie, highly recommended. It's supposed to be excellent. Perhaps my favorite because of the sci fi aspect was Wall E at 223 yeah. million in 2008. Was number what number 14. was that? Number 14. 14. What's that? I'm good. Coco was uh, number oh, 15 I love at 210 Coco. million from 2017. That's excellent. And uh, Ratatouille at 206 million from 20, 2007. Another one from the previous decade, century, millennium was Toy Story from 95 at 191 million. Cars 2 from oh. uh, 2011, 191 million. <laughs> then this was, I don't know if people put this one, A Bug's Life. Oh, anybody put that? Yeah, I don't know, Liz, yeah. but we didn't. Uh, uh, we put it one hundred sixty-two million. Uh, the number nineteen that was at, at uh, let's see, nineteen ninety-eight. No. And the last one in on the list is the third cars. Cars three at one hundred fifty-two wow. million. 
I never saw any of the uh, cars. That's so funny because I've I seen only... one of these other three times. <laughs> I so, think I saw so one and two, but not there. There is the list in ranking order, and uh, just in case you want to see an alphabetical order, there is an alphabetical order. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want alphabetical. I want to see it in alphabetical order by second letter. <laughs> <laughs> Last letter. So there you go. <laughs> Reverse <laughs> alphabetical alphabetical order by second letter. Wait, oh, re reverse good. the titles and then do it by reverse alphabetical uh, order. Oh. Let's make uh, it really complex. But alphabetical uh. order is interesting because then you see it's all of the Cars movies, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Toy see. Stories and Finding all the toys, And all the Toy Stories movies. And only remember, yeah. Monsters. Yep. And I think, I've, eh, I think I've seen every one of those except for the Cars sequels. Yeah, Not I've only seen Coco. the first. Uh, Lightyear didn't make the list, and we took it off because we knew it was a flop. Coco was good. Well, it was also right. more recent. I, ga I gave you the I gave you the dates oh. as kind of. Oh, I didn't Not see that. that one. Uh, My kids like that. Yeah, it said through 2019. So yeah, I like it. Read. But I didn't... Oh, it was about too much time travel. That's working. I love time. Got loved Coco. <laughs> Yeah, and Coco you love time travel. I thought you were going to say you love time travel. Susan, are you Coco for Coco? Yeah, I know. I think she always said that. <laughs> Rewind yeah. the tape. Likes Wordle too. No, I meant Coco. God, it was. Good. I cried even the second or the third time I saw it. I think I cried. It was so good. What's What's Coco about? I haven't heard about it. It's a. It's about photographs and memories of people. It's the oh, Dia de los Muertos. It, it's about right? a kid yes. go, going into basically the, the death, death. Dead. the Try world of the dead. Yeah. Father. Was and, the, the, the it, setting was Mexico. Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. 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 It's yep. really good. The music is excellent, and the the, mm. the just the thought of the photographs and how precious photographs are. Boy, that hit me mm. right in the heart. A the photographer found that to be interesting. Huh? How shocking! <laughs> I, I, I saw it. A and, portrait and photographer. I didn't it that much. Oh Great. yes, I loved it. That's almost as surprising as I liked Wild E. Yeah, yeah. true. The sci-fi okay. version. Yeah. Let's let's get Wally stars. was a stars. lot of fun. Wally -E was mm. fun, but yep. not like Coco. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it's just a matter of time before Trump gets arrested for grabbing Barbie's box. <laughs> we got 10, I believe. 10, that's wow. what I count. I think everybody's going to get 10. All right. Okay. So beep, 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 dash. beep, 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 <laughs> okay barbie never gets pregnant because ken always comes in another box <laughs> well i'm not gonna beep but we got 10 i think every one we got was in the bottom 10 not the top 10 but oh, you need to start watching some more movies we'll have a we'll have a pixar night x is what you click on to close up i love that one i'm mm. sorry but that's probably the best right? Ten. because boy that really pisses me off all right, so we're going to see, is Waiting on Smith the winner? We got a one followed by a zero. Nah. That was too easy, nah. I guess. Every All right, good every job. Every if you would have done just the top 10, how would people have scored? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, we would have scored seven. One, two, three. Four, I, I don't know what we would have scored four, because we would have thought more. We wouldn't necessarily have put down what we yeah. put down. That's true. That's true. One, two, three, we, we, four, had the, we had. We would have gotten a six. Yeah, we 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 had cars and Toy Story and Toy Story Two that weren't in the top ten. Yeah, we last purposely place, didn't obs obsess place. about it because we figured oh, yeah, well, a lot of these true. are going to be in the top oh. twenty. Yeah. The, the only cool. thing uh, we we missed, we thought Moana was going to be yes. in there. Yeah, six. Uh, yeah, was that cool. was that. Uh, I should have done Moana. Disney, Moana. 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 That might not have been a Pixar. Actually, I think that count. was just been a much more challenging round. Good night, Callan. Good night, Callan. Name name the Pixar movies that aren't Good in night, the top Gail. twenty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good night, Gracie. Good night, Incredibles. John Boy. Incredibles, boy. See there is so week. much good quality. Night, My goodness, these things are good. These are. You guys like to talk about sci-fi films, and you got them all memorized and everything. No, these. Well, I I haven't seen of those that I want to see. I have not seen Coco yet. So uh, yeah, Coco Watch was it. good. I liked Coco. Coco I, I have to see Cars because George Carlin is in it. 
Mm. Oh yeah. I've never seen any he plays cars. A, he plays a truck or something. Like I've that. never seen. There's up. a lot of good uh, voices. And oh, up seen, is great. I have. Yeah, everybody tells me. Incredible. Up is wonderful. Is incredible. Yes, very good. Yep. Uh, Brave. I haven't seen. Brave is Brave is phenomenal. I've I never highly heard recommend of Inside Brave. Out. Inside Out was excellent. It's yeah. so Inside clever. Story, never seen. It's really fun. I've, and yep. Hope, Inside, Ratatouille. No, I've never fantastic. seen. Mm -mm. But the ones mm. I've seen, I've seen them hundreds or thousands of times, I should say. Heard you haven't them. seen a movie thousands of times. Anyway. You put it on at work <laughs> and you put it on loop. And so it just is playing the whole day. Then when it's over, it goes to the it goes on again. We I've seen parts day. of movies thousands of times, but that's because I worked at a movie theater. So yes. I I like had the whole mine was just listening to, you know, you hear whole, like Little uh, Mermaid. God, I think I could do the all the lines. Yeah, from. I could do the whole speech from a few good men because it was playing at my theater and I watched it over and over. Oh, that's and over. awful. Yeah, but you couldn't handle it. No, yeah. I could not. <laughs> <laughs> you're bad all right you guys it's an early night i hope you guys are happy about that yep. have an early Yay. night it's finishing at 10 o'clock everybody who's doing categories next week quick categories quick answers <laughs> we've, got, we've got we've got a full tomorrow for hey we are we are finishing before midnight central time i am shocked Yay. so that i think that's right. so you guys have world. time to go check out some of the the things we gave you, uh, the podcasts oh we talked about, as well as the videos we gave, yeah. plus some of the other stuff. So you have a little extra time tonight, and I'm gonna let you guys go early. Okay. Yes. Good night, everybody. To... It's great to see you all. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.